I'm like that, bitch. No, I got them things. Bitch, no, I got them rings. Them shit just go I got the shit like that. Bitch, on the shit like that. I make the Mac that go fun. I got the Mac that go I got the shit that go fun. I got the shit that go fun. Fuck, shit, pretty fun. Fuck my eyes. I got the shit that go fuck. He lay your ass down. So many taught me, everybody knows another hoes try to spot me. You don't really know what it been like, dawg. You don't really know because I've been there, dawg. I just got them guns that go foop, foop, foop. And I got them guns that go fuck my eyes. I got them guns that go crazy, baby. Shit, I got you looking like, oh, he crazy. Take a doo doo in the back of the leg. I just got guns that go goo goo and fang fang. I got all them shits. I got all them guns that's gonna spit the fucking fuck, fuck, fuck my ass. Fuck yeah, I told that shit. On the low, bitch, talk. I got that shit. And you know, I got them guns like this. And you know, oh, I got the shit that go fucking fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, you know, I come proper. Got a gun that goes, <laughs> right at your face. 54 times, yeah, I'm all in your place. Coming to your house with my guns all out. Going, uh, 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 uh. going, I put the chair. Hello, I got a gun from Africa. It goes, and ya. <laughs> no, I'm not hand ya. Taking your soul to hell, I will send ya. Cause it's Jaja. A Jaja, a Jaja, a Jaja, a Jaja, a Jaja, a a G, you net. In the face like that. Uh, Some about the face like that. That uh, gun go fuck uh, down. I got the shit like that. No, that the gun like that. That shit go fuck ya. I got the guns on the low. Guns that be going like this. I fuck your ass up. You know I got them shit. Know that the AK spits in me. Go fuck my ass. Yeah, you know I be talking. Everybody knows I'm like chill, y'all walking. I got a big old gun in my pants. If I pull the shit out, make the whole club dance. Start spitting shells. People be jumping and jumping over rails. Cause that gun be going scoopy doopy doop doop. And then I got another gun that go fuck, 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 fuck. fuck. Bitch, no, I got the uh, shit game. If I uh, got that uh, shit, you know I put it in the game. Let if it's EA Sports, I know I'm in the fucking game. Y'all book, I be doing that shit all the same. Cash real tenaki, cash real come to me. Everybody knows a bitch, they always talk run for me. I just got someone to Mac like that. And I got a Mac that go fuck, 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 fuck my ass on the left. <laughs> yeah, that was like first, every first take boy. That was like every fucking fifty cent, 50 cent G unit. Yeah, like, well, yeah, at least that that chorus a hundred percent. Like who made? All right, this dude's name is Cannaboy. This dude made. So what's up, boy? Oh, we're back in the building. We're back in the. Bu- 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 I gotta make sure the sound. Back are in right. the shitty fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get that shit right. Oh, one more time. Oh, uh, hit that. Hit that beat one uh, time. Hit that beat one more time. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I it is. It on me. No shit to go like that. It's just a low light dance. I laid your ass down. Got to know like that. Came out the Mac and that shit go bleh. I just got someone talking shit like that. I lay your fucking ass flat down in your back with that. Yeah, this so fucking, shit like that. Such a fucking shit. Something fit like that. I lay your ass down. I got something for that ass. Chillin' at the fin like that's about to come down And you really know me, player I ain't gonna know me, player I'm so gonna die I'm gonna die I'm gonna It's your ass been in the cat I'm about to say what it is And I was like, tell you I'm not what it is I just be playing, girl, you flow with the kids And I was like, damn, girl, I flow with the kids Pictures talk to say that they like me. I don't really know, but now the boys trying to fight me. I don't really know, but I be chilling on the block. Everybody knows I got a couple things in my sock. Nines from the clock, shots from the clock. Just be lay your ass down at the second of the clock. Try to see how I survive. Tell him I got shot nine times, still last. <laughs> I teach you know me. Everybody knows I keeps it on me. Bitches now tip for this and on me. Don't see, I sip it down, down. Yeah, it's like that. It like ends like a different name. It's a different name. There is a there is a fucking era where that where this this fucking shit just like ruled the street, ran the fucking 
the rap industry. And 50, 50 always had those things on songs where he would just talk for 30 minutes about people. He'd yeah. Like, Yo, John, fuck <laughs> see <laughs> this stupid <laughs> little looking <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Catch y'all, yeah. break your motherfucking neck. Who got an order of protection from who, motherfucker? Yeah, it's just like, what? <laughs> did you, did you, did you? I the, know beats, the beats were fucking like these. Like whoever made this yeah. on YouTube, I don't know who, whoever, whoever made this fucking beat. It's like yeah, my fucking need order protection for who? So on point. It's literally what every fucking song sounded like almost. And you would always talk about like the record sales. So measly forty thousand. We do with one point million I, in the first week. I just put stock in vitamin water. I didn't even know what I was doing. My agents just told me to do it. <laughs> 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 fucking put Fucking put some stock in them Vitamin water and fucking Cheetos Next thing you know I'm a fucking millionaire I got nine fucking Empire shows <laughs> How many fucking episodes of Empire <laughs> Dude I was, I was watching like I sip in them All the history of 50 Cent Growing up in Queens And like uh, everyone that he was involved with and shit and how they used to call him boo-boo because he was like a bully and he used to actually like beat the shit out of drug dealers and shit. Yeah, and give them boo-boos. Yeah. I think boo-boo, I think his, yeah, his name was boo-boo and it's because he would literally like, they said he would roll up when he was younger and they'd be like, oh shit, not this little motherfucker. Because he was like, I think he was boxing at the time. Yeah, I think he was like a golden glove champion. I think. Yeah, so he could just like if beat I'm the, not wrong. So he could just beat mistaken. the shit out of people. But he had beef with people who wouldn't result to fist and would result to, uh, uh, you know, gun usage and what, and what have you. If, I don't know how old our demographic is, but if you were around when Get Rich or Die Trying came out, Oh my god! When I tell you that an album took over the world, yeah, it really also, did. Also, no skips on that album. No, every single song is a is a that that album is a classic. I know almost every fucking lyric on every song on that fucking album, and like, the I weirdest, feel like it doesn't get the respect it deserves. That's because it's fucking like. The actually, in, no, it should. The intro is just a coin rolling around. Right, and then the the next the second song is "What Up Gangsta," yeah, which is so fucking good. Yeah, but then it goes to "Patiently Waiting" with with Eminem. Patiently waiting for them. That that's the second. Really that's the second song. Yeah, that's, that's the just the fucking song. second one. And then four is "Many Men," which yeah, everybody which knows. everybody knows that song. Even if you're a fucking even if you're a fucking country person, yeah, for doesn't listen to rap, you you definitely have heard "Many Many Men." And then in the club. Definitely Which good. everybody knows in the club. Oh, that. All right. Yeah, that one is the most annoying one now because it was played way too. You know, a song is incredibly successful when you just can't even stomach to listen to it anymore. I, it, yeah, it becomes a song that it would be OK if you never heard it again in your yeah, life. Yeah, exactly. I think I have like five of those songs. It's like in the club, like uh, like hypnotized. Uh, no, no. Juicy. Juicy by Biggie, it's like, yeah, I've heard Juicy so much. Nah, I could still, I feel like I can deal with it. Maybe for people that were, maybe it's because I were, we were younger, but I, not, not, well, for you, maybe Juicy, not for me. I feel like it's like, hypnotize. I, I love. feel like it's like in the club. There's an, there's another, there's another one that gives me that vibe from another uh, artist. Like I'm just trying Hi, to my out. name is by Eminem. Yeah, maybe like, yeah, yeah. That's, I could go, that's I could go there. never hearing that song ever. Oh, again. yeah, me, too, me neither, because it was all the fucking It's time. just, I've heard, like, heard them so much. Like, I, mean, I guess, like, if, if I ever do get drunk again, yeah. and, like, I do hear, like, this album's dedicated, like, I'll cry, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, know, yeah, but, like, yeah. it would take a lot for me to be, like, I'm really in the juicy. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, and obviously, all of these songs are f amazing songs. It's just no, like, they are. It's just you've heard them way too much on the fucking radio. It's like yeah. every fucking two seconds. Um, another one is probably like uh, in the. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to think of songs that made me feel like that. Like that. That were club. just huge. Oh, mo it's the thing is, it's it's hard to think hip hop because a lot of the times it's pop songs that are like that. There's a million pop songs you can name that you've heard way too many times. Oh right yeah, now. yeah. But I'm just trying to keep it like in the like it, even with like new age like rap like. It, it would be okay if I never heard, like, uh... Well, I'll tell you what I never want to hear is fucking, uh... Baby, you're my everything. You're all I ever wanted. Yeah. Yeah, that song I could be good never hearing it again. But when I first heard it, I was like, this song's chill. Yeah. Uh, con like, Controla? Oh, no, no, but, but, but the I other, hate when he's when he gets, like... But the other one, the main one, is Hotline Bling. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I could never... That is... That shit took off. Yeah, like if they were like, "Yo, like 
I can't listen to Hotline Bling. Either. I could Jesus listen uh, f- if if I never heard Hotline Bling again in my life, I'd right. be perfectly fine. Right. But there's so many Drake songs where he goes off and he's nasty, and then he obviously just has his radio bangers. Yeah, because he knows like, how to make the difference. His algorithm is fantastic. But I uh, <laughs> I can't fucking deal with no. That. Hotline bling that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and then like there's do, like do, uh, do, do. there's that one song by Is that just uh, elevator music basically he's spitting on. Yeah, and then like Rough Riders anthems like that too. Oh uh, really? Like I love Rough Riders anthem, but like I can go without it. There's like so many other songs that I would keep if I had to get rid of one of X's. Yeah, I mean I guess it's it's also a thing that's like it to each their own. But yeah, like I can listen to DMX. The, uh, it's dark and hell is hot every day. Nothing on that album gets old. Even there's no there's skips on that bangers album. on that. But it's like with that one though. Like I'll if I yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll skip that track. Yo, it's so weird playing older music though, and he and he just drops like big ass f bombs. Oh yeah, and like you know because we're older, and it just was a different fucking time, dude. Oh, like dude, we where, were where the hood at is like one of the most anti gay songs it, ever. Yeah, it literally is like I remember I remember listening. <laughs> I remember listening it back in the day, right? And you don't think anything of it. Yeah. If anything, like I don't even, I don't even, I don't even sit there. I wasn't even sitting there going, "Yeah, don't, don't ever fucking kiss another man." You know what I mean? I wasn't thinking that. No, I thought he was I talking just, to me. I, I was like, yeah, I was like, I was like, I was just like, damn, my man just doesn't want to see a guy another kiss. I saw it like how Eminem did the if an if a man another man can't elope and he does like the Ugh, yeah, you know, at the end of it, yeah, yeah. Like I didn't really. It's it's weird. I know like people are, should be offended by it for sure, but like I didn't really pay attention to those parts when well, I was listening to it. I feel like you pe- know what I mean. Yeah. No, I agree with you on that. Like I feel like listen, we just it's a different era though. Back. By, by I the feel. Way. Yeah. I feel like some people can reserve the right to be offended by music. I of think, course. I yeah, think, yeah. I think I think music can be offensive. Like you know, like I'm not going to be that naive. Right. But when I heard DMX say. How are you gonna explain fucking a man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Saying it, I just and then he goes. I just, and then he I goes, honestly, I'm gonna be honest. When I'm younger, I just laughed. No, I thought he was talking to me. I'm just like, damn, like, yo, he's calling Why me did gay. You fuck another guy. No, but in my head, I was like, did I? Like, it was so aggressive. <laughs> yeah, but in my head, did I fuck this this man? Yeah, another man. So when he goes, how are you gonna explain fucking a man? Right. Even right. if we squash the beef, I'm not touching your hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that's almost that's almost worse. Than being gay, that he's like, you know, even if like we come to agreement, I'm not going to touch your gay hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why when I first, well, I honestly could honestly say, even back then, like it's not that it was acceptable. It's just that you didn't know how you didn't really know when you're younger how much you're hurting someone else's fucking feelings, right? Like I don't think about it. I, yeah. I wasn't. I, when we're dude, when we were younger, we embraced so much shit that that like is just so different now. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, like murder and drug dealing. Right. And that's why I always laugh when someone's like, <laughs> you meet someone's grandpa and they're like, yeah, well, you know, he's a fucking, he's a fucking Hispanic. You know, you're just sitting there like, Jesus Christ. And they're like, sorry, he's old. And you'd be like, that's not really a good excuse. I know that, that is true, but it is, it is when you go back to the past and you're just a completely different person. Like, you can evolve, obviously. You know but, what I mean? Of course. But that verse from the... It's not like it was just that one line. The first line, he's like, I show no love to homo thugs. Yeah, no, he literally... He it's literally, like a full verse about just, like, gay people being trash. When I was younger, I was just like... I was like... I, I remember being like, I don't even know if I really want to... It seems like he's there's something else happening. Yeah, like they, I really was just like it's not one of my favorite. It, honestly, it's not one of my favorite songs by him. And it's not, no, it's not even just because of that. That was one of the most fiery lyrical onslaughts on gays where I've the, ever heard in where, my life. It's the chorus that saves the whole song. Where the hood? Where the hood? Where the hood? hood where the hood at? at? All yeah. my in the cut. Where the wood at? Which I'm pretty sure does that mean crack? I actually don't. I don't even know what. The yeah, word, the when word I when I, I, but, I always thought like when he said where the wood at, I immediately like. Like, I, thought about my penis. I met a dude in school street who goes, what do you think where the wood is? And I was like, I don't fucking know, crazy old fucking guy. It's crack, he's like, he's baby. He's crack. And I was like, I don't, I don't know, man. I'm just listening to the music. That's my problem. I just listened to rap a lot of the time back in the day and really didn't pay attention to a lot of the shit unless it was really speaking of some shit I knew about. You know oh, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, which was, like, not that much when you're, like, eight. Yeah, like, I wasn't yeah. listening to Nas. He was like... 
it's just like those nights in the projects, you know what I mean? And I'm like, yeah, totally not. Nice. Like, yeah. <laughs> while I'm while I'm in a predominantly white fucking yeah. suburb, you know what like I mean? Going like going anywhere you want at any time. I always appreciated rap for just like obviously rhythm, how someone spat. And sometimes they would just it's not always about the hood. There's just life lessons in, in certain things too as well in certain stories. I just But love there would be lines like you already know what it's like I'm all out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And fucking and I'm just like, nah, I don't. Because, but I feel it though. But I do feel it. Though. I feel it. I'm like, yeah, I do. I I'm like, this guy's got pain. Yeah, I feel your pain, dude. I understand I what you're pain. going I don't through. know where my pain's from, but I have it. I know. It's so, it's, it but is, I could it, not feel DMX's pain on, <laughs> on where the hood at. No, no, no. <laughs> For whatever he was going through in that. In I, that. Like, he literally like, made me so scared that I thought I was gay and that he was in my face screaming that verse at me. I also just am thinking in the, in the recording studio, are they not like, damn, homie's really going at... at at them right now. Yeah, they're like, yo, yo, we'll punch you in after homo thugs. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I don't understand where they, th- I, I don't know. I just, whenever I hear, it's not one of my favorite songs. No, no. But um, whenever I listen to Dark and Hell is Hot, like, there's not a single skip on that album. Like no. You said. There um, isn't. There is. So we're at In the Club and then High All the Time, which is, I'm high all the time. Yeah, Banger. which he, did, he didn't even smoke weed, by the way, when he yeah. wrote that song. Heat is, a, I think, my favorite song on the album. Has he go again? What the hell? He step it, dump it, bop it, oh, yeah. jump it, do the vibe, mm, blow, blow your brains, brains out. out. Yeah, okay, that's a, that shit is fire. If I can, to do the beats. Really if I can't, boom, 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 amazing. Bloodhound, amazing with amazing. Young Buck. Amazing. Back down, amazing. Yeah. P I M P. Ah, amazing banger. with the Snoop Dogg version. Yes. Then uh, I know you like my style. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Why? He's getting softer though. Yeah. As it goes down. Poor little Rich, another banger. Yeah. Twenty one questions with Nate Dogg. Another soft little banger. And Nate Dogg the God. And I'll tell you this: this the late great Nate. I I I I wrote a twenty one questions to a girl once. Because it's of this fire. fire. That's fire. Yeah. Down with that. Yeah. And it, and it like worked. Um, don't push me. I ain't figure hey, so don't push me. Don't push me. And then what's the last one on that album? Uh, I gotta make it to heaven for going to hell. Yeah. And then on the bonus I don't know tracks, about I don't know about that song put the song placements on there though. Yeah, they're a little all over the place. Either I, way you mix that up, there's not a skip though. And then on the bonus tracks is Wangsta. Why? Shouldn't that have been on the regular album? No, nah, because he like did it as like a like a freestyle or something. Not a freestyle, but like it was on a mixtape or something. No, I didn't think they could clear the sample for a while. Right. Um, but that album that song is ridiculous. You not like me, that's a great one. And then Life's on the Line. And I don't think all right, so I'm gonna explain for people that don't fucking understand what this album meant to some people. I'll use myself as a fucking uh as a fucking me as a me is. I literally We'd f- this is a sophomore year. All I wanted to do was smoke weed, fucking drink beer, maybe get, not even drink beer, actually. All I wanted to do was blaze because, again, like we talked in the episode about Tourette's, like I was self-medicating the fuck out of myself. And oh, all yeah. I wanted to do was just smoke weed, smoke weed, smoke weed. So I used to literally cut class, go back to my parents. I don't know why the fuck I thought that this was like a good idea ever. Go back to my parents' fucking apartment where we li- where we lived and smoke in the fucking kitchen during school. Go there to smoke and play fucking Fifty Cent on a loop the whole album on our fucking old shitty Dell computer that was in our fucking kitchen that we all use as a family. That, a, that fucking a masturbation pork. station. Yeah, masturbation s- station, which is virus viruses all yeah, over. Let, Counter Strike. Let me tell you something. That computer was like the the Tesla like lab master that thing lasted through so much shit yeah. that shit was fucking mars x that like thing, before that thing before lasted through up. so much shit fucking my porn searches your porn searches so other people's porn searches jared's yes. other people's porn searches um pretty sure our cat was looking at porn yeah our, our cat looked up a lot of like shaved, sure I, yeah. shaved pussies Pretty sure I like turned on fucking the computer once and yeah. it was just like fucking gritty kitties yeah just like fucking uh Per.com with like yeah. 30 R's. <laughs> and like my cat's screen name was like Nasty uh, nasty Pussy. Bro, this album sold <laughs> Nasty Puss. Nasty Puss. Sold 9 million records in America. Alone? Al- alone. How many totals? Uh, Does that even, is that a thing or do they just always separate it by? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm sure this album went diamond by now. It was a number one Billboard album. 
He's Just like he's basically one of those artists. If he died, his fucking it would skyrocket all of his shit. Yeah, yeah. Like fifties, like fifties, like as much as he hasn't done shit in a really long time, he's been pretty tired. Um, besides, like his like you know working. I mean, he'd work his ass off doing all this other shit. Like his his music would be legendary. I fucking broke was breaking up weed on a fucking. On a Get Rich or Die Trying magazine with the cover of him on it, breaking up weed, smoking in my room at, at 3 a.m. And my mom fucking comes in and just sees me breaking up weed because I was getting ready to sell it. And I was putting it in fucking bags. I was bagging up weed and my mom comes in late at night and she goes, what is that? And I'm like, uh, weed. <laughs> <laughs> and she slams the door in anger. I'm like, I'm fucked. She's going to tell dad he's going to beat my ass. And the door opens again. I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm getting ready to get slain. And it's my mom again. She has a fucking chair. You know, mom's like so dramatic. Yeah, I think I said this before. She wanted to come talk to you about weed? Yeah, and she sits, she puts the chair down. She goes, flush it down the toilet. Or I'm telling your father. I'm like, mom, I spent $300 on this weed. I need she to make like, it right, back. Give she me goes, half of it. She goes, <laughs> she's like, give me half of it. And I won't tell your dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was basically like, sell all of it in like two weeks. Sell all of it in like two, she gave me like a five. I was like, Damn, what are you, who's a crack she? dealer? Yeah, who's she? Your fucking uh, your front, your yeah. front man. Also, I was like, why are you saying this to me? Like you've actually sold like fucking drugs before. You just she hear was like, just like you just hear like weird like uh, yeah, like drug dealer like Spanish music. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, like Scarface, fucking music. narco narco theme music. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, get rid of it. Yeah, she's just like sitting right next to you. She's and then she's like, just like ready for you to sell all the drugs. Yeah, she's like comes in, she fucking puts the chair down and then turns the light off and you just hear. She's like, I need you to get rid of all the fucking drugs right now. Do you understand me? <laughs> and I'm like, it's just weed, mom. And she's just like, oh, is it? And then she just pulls out a suitcase and there's crack and fucking. You know what this is? And cocaine. <laughs> you, you know what this <laughs> is, mijo? This is it. This is Colombian boom boom. Bam, she's like, bam. that shit you're playing with? That's hussy fuss. Let me do me a favor. That's Frust hussy that. fuss. Flush that down the toilet and I will tell you a story. She's like, you want to see more weed? than you're going to see more money than you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> <laughs> but it's time for you to join the family business. She literally was threatening me. She goes, I'll tell your fucking dad. And I was like, fine, I'll sell it. And she's like, I never do it again. And then obviously I kept doing it. And she found the, my old, I used to sell them in little coffins, they were called, like yeah. the hard cases. And I was walking upstairs and she was cleaning our room without our fucking permission. Like yeah. she would always fucking do and go through our shit. She still does that. And and, uh, and I hear her going like, this motherfucker's is going to go to jail. Look at this shit. He's going to go to fucking jail. And I was just like, oh, and went back downstairs and just oh, left for the yeah. day. Sell it in two weeks. I like you, Papa. But yeah, I, I give you she, two I thought, weeks. I thought because I was like, if, she told dad, dad would, if dad walked in on me, he would have broke my fucking face. Probably. All this weed just broken up on this fucking 50 cent kit. Like, I couldn't have been more of a tool. All I needed was like a do-rag on and some like Timberlands like probably in my, in my bed. Both. I think I did have them on probably. Yeah, why not? At 3 a.m. Do-rag. Dead, do-rag dead slap later. Dead though. ass. I used to rock the do-rag. Remember I went to the Yankees game with all you guys with, uh, fucking with, the, with my do-rag and cornrows. You had a Puerto Rico do-rag. Yeah, and uh, and my friend Charlene, she did my uh, my duros for me. Yeah, we had the Puerto Rico one. She braided she braided my hair too. Yeah, you had yeah you braided yours too as well. I had braids for a minute. Your hair was longer too, and yeah. it, it was better. Mine was like it was just my hair was like it just like didn't stay in for like more than a day. Yeah, it was just so influenced by fucking Allen Iverson at that time in my life. Oh, so like, much, and I just remember being like, ah, cornrows hurt. I felt like all the blood was just being like. Oh, fucking yeah. like my head was numb for like the whole day. I felt like the, all the blood was just like taken away, like not being able to go up to my f- top of my head. If you have like There's no circulation hair. in my fucking skull. Yeah. Well, anyway, it took us 24 minutes to get to this, but uh, well, I missed you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So I think the episode came out. on. I miss you, too. I just said, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you were like, yeah, for <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, totally. No, I did. Mi- I did miss you, too, for sure. For sure. Yeah, for sure, yeah. yeah definitely. <laughs> That's such a podcast thing to say. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. That and right. Yeah, right, right. 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 Yeah. No, 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 for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sure. 100%. Yeah. 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 People always do that on podcasts. Yeah. 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 yeah right. Yeah. right. No. And then right. they're like, oh, oh no. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah, I never really thought about it like that. Right, right. Yeah, sure. Yeah, right. But uh, you spent your entire birthday sick. 
Yeah, I was uh, feeling like absolute trash. I was throwing up all day. I actually threw up some blood, too. I was fucking dry heaving. Ew. Uh, I fucking couldn't feel my legs. I crawled out of the bathroom like fucking uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and fucking Wolf of Wall Street when nice. he goes to his car. Sick ref. Sick ref, right? <laughs> Sick <laughs> ref. So fucking good. <laughs> Sick ref. Like I was on fucking Quaaludes. <clears throat> at crawling out of the bathroom. I'm really dramatic when I'm sick, too. And I just go, ah. Yeah, like I'm a like lot. that, too. It feels good to do it though, like get out weird, like dying, like old, like medieval sounds. Yeah, like I you're think... dying from the plague. <laughs> Just like, oh, come closer, <laughs> come closer. <laughs> Whatever happens, uh, raise the stock right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> some shit like that. I was just like fainting. About you're the man of the house now. Being by yourself you're and sick man. is is whack though. Being sick by yourself is probably the worst thing on earth. It definitely felt pretty bad, yeah. Because you don't feel any better while you're alone no. for some reason. Like, when somebody else is around, like, they can obviously help take care of you. Yes. You feel security. Yeah. You know, but then if they're like, if they're not there. I'm going to die alone. Yeah, you're going to die sick. alone. Yeah. Suffering. But I wasn't. It, I, what I, did I, you have? I had a fucking... I, I don't know what the fuck I ate the night before. I mean, I drank a lot, but I don't know what I ate the night before. All I know is that I was told that um, uh, that I had, like, a fucking legit, like, I don't know if the word is, like, a rupture, but, like, a fucking damage in my fucking throat from dry heaving and my fucking legs, bro, from throwing up so much. We're fucking, I was, f like, I felt like uh, that scene in fucking Casino where they beat fucking uh, Joe Pesci's legs with a bat. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's how it fucking, because, that's how I was crawling, dude. I was, it was like the time I was food poisoned. That's why, I remember you were there, you, John, and uh, and Nick Massahouse. Oh, yeah. Fucking Vine. Yeah, I do, I do remember that. And I was, was throwing up apartment. for three days. Yeah, my apartment <clears throat> in Yonkers. This time was just one day, but it was really, really bad, and that's what it felt like, and I was just doing that whole, yuck! Like that fucking, yeah, like that really violent fucking like, sounds like a fucking dojo, <laughs> like vomit, dude, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, and nothing like, yeah. coming out after the end of the day, bro. Like I feel like, and you know, when so you're like weird. your face vibrates and your eyes are feel like they're going to fucking come out of your head. Yeah, That's you, how violent it was. Do you ever feel like one of your eyes are like more closed than the other? Oh, like you mean just, just like normally? Standard. Yeah, and we'll, we'll I, get back into throwing I, up. Yeah, I think like, I don't know. I think my is. left eye is like more shut than the other. I always felt like that Damn, was like a... It's a left eye low priori over here. Pretty much. <laughs> but like, I remember I would always see like, uh, like there were like two Spanish girls in our... In our uh, <laughs> Yeah, in our school. <laughs> I don't know where this is going, but no, okay. no, no, no. But like, they always wore like heavy eyelashes. Yeah, and it would like throw off like their oh eye one eye balance. Yeah, like their one eye balance would be off, and I, I couldn't stop. But like, I was like, I have to stare at this one eye that's not opening all the way, <laughs> right? Right. Because your right. lashes are so yeah, heavy. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly. You know, and then, then now I was like, oh man, that's so weird. But now it just happens to me now. Yeah, no, yeah. no lash. Yeah, that makes me think of my lady. My lady, she actually wears like really big ass lashes sometimes too. Because I, because I always, uh, n like I noticed like that's a style too, which I never knew. Yeah, you can big have like lashes, you can have long nails. lashes, but you can have huge lashes. Yeah. Uh, Yo, and, girls go. You know, they go and they get chinchilla hair. Oh, that's on their lashes? On their lashes. They get ch little micro, like, fiber chinchilla hairs, and someone just pu puts them on their eyelids. That, oh, that's fucked up. Yeah, dude. Yo, beauty is pain. Beauty is pain. And then someone's over there just plucking the chinchillas, and then they're just putting it on your face. Dude, we should do a whole, uh, no one's going to be able to tell the difference. We should get, like, you should get eyelash eyelashes, eyelashes, right? Yeah, yeah, and see if anybody notices. Uh, like I, I have really, we have nice. You have nice eyelashes, just standard. Great eyelashes and great eyebrows. You were born with great, yeah, great, yeah, yeah great eyebrows. Who's yeah. that? For, is that from mom, mom or dad or both of them? Like a mixture. I, I get my back hair from dad for sure, because dad's hair grows like a. I get my back hair from dad. No, because here's where here's where dad, like dad's back hair is really weird. It's like a, a video game where like you haven't opened the entire map. Right. But, like, they, they could be opened. Right. So, like, there's one, like, anywhere that I've opened on the map is, like, fully patched. Yeah. And then there's, like, these other areas yes. and islands that, yeah. like, there's no hair. Yeah. Isn't it weird he's how... A pat, he's a patchy fuck. It's so... Yeah, we are, too, though. Yeah. No, I get... You have no chest hair. And I have no... Hair. No, no. And barely any arm hair. Like, you have more than me, but it's not... You see, yeah, you do have a lot. I, yeah, I have way more. Or like, you don't have hair on your hands. I no, not on my, my arms. Nothing. 
I remember when I first got hair on my knuckles and I was really self-conscious about it. Right, because you thought you looked like a fucking monkey or something? Yeah, and I was like, yo, like, I'm in high school and I have fucking hairy knuckles? What's wrong with me? Yeah, well, no, yeah, I mean, like, I first off, I laughed at how you said I, got, I get my back hair from dad. Like, dad actually comes to your house with, like, bags of hair that you can glue on your fucking back. Uh, he, got, he has good rates. But dad, dad, um... Who is the hairiest out of everybody? Is it dad? dad? Dad's the hairiest for sure. Uh, he grows the best beard. He grows the best back hair. Yeah. He grows chest hair, and stomach and hair. And we're Italian and Puerto Rican, so our, hairy. so our skin like is just so wild. Yeah, it's like it's like ingrown hairs everywhere. Every, that, that's an Italian. Na- that's an na- Italian thing. Till now, Italian people have like weird ingrown hair like genetics. Yeah, I, I all I know is that like I'll still be there and I'll be like, why the fuck is that happening to me? I think I have one like right here. Dude, I have the weirdest spots where they come sometimes and I'm like, that doesn't make any fucking sense that that's still happening at thirty five. Bro, I had an ingrown hair on my toe once and it was so painful. I popped a pimple on my toe. God, yeah. You've had we've had some like yeah, my abscess ass. kind of things happen to yeah, us. Dude. Is that the right word? The abscess, yeah. That's what it's called. Right? It's yeah. like I, I got this thing up here. I had something on my foot that was weird at one point that it just went away on its own. Then I had like, I'm pretty sure it was like a, uh, it looked like a fucking, what's it called? Like a bunion almost, but then it went away. Oh. But bunions don't go away on their own, do they? No, bunions, so it was probably bunions a, are here to stay. I think spurs can go away. I bone had, spurs, I think, like a bone spur. Bone spurs can go away, but I think you need a prestige. I don't know. Whenever they, they go in there with arthroscopic Well, I had surgery. a buildup on my one foot where it looked like it was that muscle that's like on the on the right side of your you know the outside of your foot you know what i mean that little ball right there uh that's where it was but then it fucking just went away i don't know and it whatever, hurt too when i put on shoes whatever happened to your testicle that time what do you mean like i remember didn't you have like a lump on your testicle for a little bit and you thought like you were dying and then you went to dr turgis no and, and then he was just like no i had no, a, you're good i had a really weird bump on my penis it was not a herpy though oh yeah you had a weird penis thing that was weird yeah and, and you i don't know so what, you, know, you were like so stressed out about it yeah because i was like is this herp and then i got it checked down they were like no that's not herp i don't i don't they were like I, we don't i don't know what the fuck that is they were like i think you have like a build up in your penis do you did you have like an ingrown hair like up the shaft maybe I, may, I don't know it was like on the fucking it was like below the fucking hair growable skin I wonder, like, what's the hairiest penis? It was in the near world? like my sebaceous. Oh, okay, all right, all right. And it was weird. It, I was like, "Is this herp?" I used to get fucking, but it wasn't herp because it wouldn't like it didn't hurt or anything. It was just like, yeah, it was like another penis was growing. When I played sports, I had double penis. Yeah, yeah no, I think you had a you had a man you had a man. <laughs> I can't even see what you're wearing. Like, if you're wearing shorts right now, you just look ass naked. I love below, that. Below, were you gonna say you had shorts? No, no, like you had a penis clit. What do you mean? Like you had an extra bump on your penis? Like yeah, I had like a penis clit. I had like t- basically a penis head is like a big ass clit, technically, right? Yeah, you had a peen, you had a peen clit. Yeah, I had like my own little clit or something. That's and then, fire. And then it just went away, and then the clit's gone. Damn, dude. Into the fucking into into clit heaven, I guess. I used to get weird ingrown hairs on the insides of my thighs. Yeah, I I would get them. I get them. huge though. I get them like right here on my knee, or like, dude, like right here. No, like, bro, my inner arm, bro. They used to be like so big, yeah, like huge. And like, I went to like pop them, and they would never pop, and they felt like weird, like just fucking <sighs> abscess growth. Isn't that annoying when they don't pop? Well, you got to have like special instruments. I found out there's nothing better than like getting an instrument and picking the top off of like a something like a not a boil. Well, there are like people something. that they go in first, make a hole, and then make a fucking area for the fucking grossness to escape. That's smart. That's smart. I had to do that once when I, I see on Instagram anyway. When I slammed my finger in a car door, yeah, some dude that uh, I saw like. Um, it was up in Yorktown. Right. And I saw him in a, a store there and I was buying something for my finger. And he was like, yo, you know, what you got to do for that. Pop it. Yeah. First of all, the way he said it to me was like super sexual. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, 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 I was like, yeah. 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 What the fuck? I was like, this guy's going to tell me to shove my finger up his ass. Yeah. Like, what's he tell? He's like, he's shove like, it in my ass. He's like, what's your number? Also, yeah. he's like, show some love to homo thugs. And I was like, okay, whatever. So he had. Uh, this weird thing, this idea. He goes, "You got a, a needle at home? 
Yeah. And I was like, yeah. Burn it. And he was like, yo, burn it over the stove and hold it on your nail till it burns through your nail. Right, because your nail doesn't have any feelings. It's underneath where that fucking... Yeah, so I was like, excuse me, sir? Yeah. Like, this dude's telling me to go home and just fucking mutilate myself instead of buy this bastard yeah. chase up. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> so he sends me home, and I do it. And right. when I tell you the release of pressure that happened, when yeah, so much fucking blood came out of my thumb. Yeah, that's crazy. This dude. whole thing was huge, and it, this eventually fell off. My nail yeah, fell off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, uh, by the way, does that even hurt when that happens? Or is it just, like, deadness that falls off your body? So it's gross in the beginning because it doesn't fall off right away. So you're, like, playing with it, and it's like, right, right, right. So, like, the skin that it, that is attached to it, like, dies. Right. And, like, gradually you could pull it, like, further back and further back and further back. Whoa, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah, human bodies. What you don't know is is that your thumb grows a little bit under your skin here. Yes, no, I do because if you go like this, you can see it. Yeah. Oh yeah. If you push the push the tip of your of your thumbs, everybody. Yeah. And then look at your skin, where the, and you can see it kind of coming up. Yeah, it moves a little bit. Isn't that kind of yeah. weird? It's a yucky. It's yucky, yucky, gross, gross. So I pulled it off at one point. It was able to come off, and when I tell you that your thumb takes so fucking long to grow back, I didn't have a thumbnail for like six months. Oh, you just had a nub. It was just gross. And then this little, like, white part was, like, all fat. Oh, like, I know what you're talking about. There's it's a little just, hump in there. It's like the the fat of, like, a steak, you mean? Yeah. This yeah. Like, yeah. It looked like the most, like, delicious part of my thumb. First off, I can't believe that you took the advice of, like, some gas station guy to go home and fucking crack needle your fucking thumb. Yeah, but I ran it by fucking, <laughs> <laughs> I, ran it, I ran it by fucking, uh, like, no doctor dad. He's like, you know what you got to do, man? You got to go back and crack needle it. Yeah, and you're just like, what is that? He's like, you gotta burn it and shove it on your thumb. So what do you do? You burned it, then you just let it sit and rest. Yeah. So and then all of a sudden you just hear like, Gah. pretty much. But like, uh, you can kind of hear it like popping your, I guess a nail is skin. What is a nail? How come we can grow back nails, but we can't just grow back arms and shit? And so cocks. F- yeah, and cocks. Like imagine if your cock sucked, and then you could just cut, cut it, it off, off and, and then just hopefully grow back bigger. Comes out, yeah, more D's, nuts. So. 50, you have a 50-50 chance. You cut, <laughs> you, you cut your penis off. Yes. It either grows back, like, awesomely bigger or just insanely smaller. What are the odds? 50-50. 50-50. Damn, I'm doing it, I think. You think you're going to do it? I don't, I'm don't. i definitely really happy with what I got, but, like, getting even more? Like a gargant. I'd, I'd be unstoppable with, an, with a gargant. That's what I'm saying. You just have a gargant pen. Dude. 50 50, it's like. I'd be unstoppable with a gargantula. I know. No one would touch me. At all. Or you. No one would touch any of us. No, dude. Just the, and, and everybody knows about it. I feel like the first day out with my huge new penis, I, you would just hear like. Dun, 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 dun. You can't tell by the way I use my penis. I'm a woman's man. I'm not tired of cut. That's why. It would make your penis so much cooler than it is now. Not saying that your penis isn't cool, but it would like propel you into like superstar cock. Them. It makes me think of like there's, there's no relation to this. I don't know why, but you're you're hurting it to have something else better happen. But like monks, monks actually train themselves to like they hit things over and over and over. Like not really even hard, but they damage the fucking the their natural their like natural born skin that they have, so that it scars over and becomes harder scar tissue. They also fucking do it with their heads. They'll like smash their heads against like fucking uh, like paper, or like like a wall. Yeah. See, I never got monks. Yeah. Like what? I mean, obviously, do we? It's their life, right? It's their life. I guess. Yeah. But like, I don't even know if they are real people. Like, do they live for someone else? Yeah. Like, do I don't you, even know. Do monks, do monks jerk off? No, I don't think so. I don't think monks release anything. Words come, bodily fluids. No, they talk. They, come. they do talk. They definitely I thought talk. monks like take, take vows of silence. No, I think that's like fucking. Uh, I think that's something else, or it might be some monks, but some, but monks talk. Otherwise, we wouldn't know why they do what they do. Then they say like Buddhist monks, right? But are there like Christian monks? I don't know. Maybe, maybe like a, imagine you monks. met a Jewish monk. Yeah, that would be so fucking twenty twenty two. I would not right? know what to do with that. I'd just be like, hey, I'm a Jewish monk. I'd just be I'd like, be, I'd be like, that's kind of fire though. Yeah. 
And like, I gotta Google it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta do. Yeah, you gotta Google it. There's like, can a, a Jew be a monk? Can a Jewish person <laughs> be a monk? Judaism is the oldest of the three monks. Abrahamic religions. Did Abra- not generate Abra- Abra- Abrahamic. Abrahamic. Can a monk be any religion? Uh, yes. Monk means monos, meaning alone. <laughs> Damn. Monks can be found in almost <laughs> monks can be found in almost every religion and known for their single headed devotion. Monos, single, single monos in Spanish means monkey, doesn't it? Oh, I don't know. It does. Los monos. No, nah, I thought it was like a weird word with an A, like a apolet. No, in Spanish it's monos. I thought it was like Monk, monkeys in Spanish is monos. Um, so can Monkey they be? A, can they be? Spanish. A, can they be a different religion? This is all over the place. Can they be a different religion? Let's see what it sounds like. Yeah, mono. 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 So if you mono. have mono, does that mean you have monkey? Mono. Uh, so anyway, can it? Can what did it say? Can they yeah. actually be a different religion? Yeah, you can have monks from all different types of religions. What the fuck? That's Sing, awesome. Single-minded devotion. Can you be? An, can you be like a satan? Can you be like a satanic monk then? Let's look it up. Are there Satan monks? Satan worshiping monks. Do they be satanic monks? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) Yes. Satan monk. Satan monk sounds like a name of like a of like a fucking Xbox name. Satanic monk. Yeah. That's that's, that's somebody. That's like Call of Duty. (laughs) That's somebody who donates to your fucking Twitch stream. Yeah, yeah. Like satanic satanic monk. Thank you for the fucking five hundred bits. Satanic monk. Thank you for the three months. Welcome to the tea party. Uh no, there can't be satanic monks. Um, why? Or do they believe in God? I think monks believe in God. And okay, I'll, okay. Uh, but this looks like or they might believe in several gods. Russian court finds influential monk who denies virus exists. Oh, that's not it. Yeah, this is that's something else. But, but these I'll guys say, look they they look like they're dressed up kind of like it. I will say satanic monk drip is better than regular. It monk is drip. all black is fire, yeah, yo. Yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. Fucking invite a little anarchy into your life. Monk costume. I feel like right. it's what orange. Is, what is the They're always saying? orange. Oh, we're so dumb. Why? These are monks. Brown monks. Yeah, their clothes are brown. Yeah, brown. I'm just saying for the people that are, you know. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah golden. Sorry, guys. The robes are brown, not the not the actual monks. <laughs> Oh, it's a brown monk. <laughs> you go, oh, oh, yeah, they're brown. <laughs> Such a family guy thing to right? say. Oh, yeah, they're brown. Um, yeah, the robes are brown. Yeah, that's so fucking weird, dude. That's wild. Oh, today, dude, I had the worst fucking panic attack before I came here. So, like, I have this expression, like, when I talk, I have to fart. Can I fart on air? Yeah, are you kidding me? Wait, put the, put the, yeah, put that thing down there and get that. Really? Yes. <laughs> God, I'm so happy I don't use that mic. Oh my God, it's God. Oh, it smells so bad. Too. Oh Jesus, get the Febreze. No, you know what? I'm gonna take it in. I don't know if you should do that. Can nah, I talk? There, might, there fucking... might be a day where one of us is gone when we get older and be like, God, we give anything to smell like asshole's asshole I know. again. Am I gonna get like a cavity from this now? I don't yeah. know if it, nah, yeah, I know you get pink. Nah, your eyes. lips are getting chapped from it. I think. Yeah, yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I farted so hard I chapped my lips. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great. I knew, I dude. I knew you were gonna execute. Oh, yeah. Like when you, when if if someone like Danny, and I'm not just saying this because you're a hefty fella. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm, I'm Danny. <laughs> Danny, Danny. Yeah, no, I'm fat. If there's, it's not even that. Danny has always been a deliverer of of fucking flatulence. Like, yeah, yeah. Eh, like, like, just I bring the rain. Just fucking, just fucking. Brilliant flatulence. Yeah. See so that? I knew that was going to be really good. And that was, <laughs> that shit was like, batorm. <laughs> <laughs> I have good flash farts. Like that fart only stung for two seconds. Yeah. I don't smell anything. Now it's gone. And it, now I'm worried if I have code. Because it's when I, t- it's, no, because it's when I told you is I put my finger in my butt and I do a squiggly. Oh, you do the squig. I do a squig. And that's why I'm like, you know, like I'm not a, a prairie, prairie dogging. Yeah, prairie dog. Prairie dogs. Selena came home today and was using prairie dog in a lot. 
Oh, like on prairie dog, like pooping? <laughs> no, not her. Oh, 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 One of the dogs was farting like, oh, like wild. Oh. She was like, which one of you is prairie dogging? Oh, she kept saying it. Yeah, she oh, was like, one of you is prairie dogging. I was like, where's this use of prairie dogging? Yeah, well, was it like more, it was like more than once in, a, in the same sentence, right? You're like, what's up with this? Yeah, I was like, did you just learn prairie dogging? And yeah. I was like, I don't think I've ever heard you like say... Here's the weird thing about relationships. When you're with them so much, you learn so much about their vocabulary. Right, right. And if one thing is off, you go into, like, this weird, like, Y2K <laughs> moment where, like, your entire internal computer shuts down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, who taught you this? Yeah, what is, what's his name? What did she, did she say? Is he? Was she just feeling it, I guess, the other day, maybe? Yeah, I got another one. Oh, God. Here we go. Round two. <laughs> that was soft. That was light. Yeah, but it was like, it was, Oh, it was dude. Like, born, born. I'm putting this fucking shit molecule yeah, right in my mouth. I think you're burning away the fucking soft part of the mic. Yeah, I know. It's going to fucking turn brown. You're going to have to like send it to one of those YouTubers it's that restore shit. Turn into a brown monk. <laughs> yeah, right? I'll show you brown monk. Uh, no, but I had a panic attack today. I think that's what we were talking about. Yeah, what happened? So, like, Well, obviously it was a panic attack. I so when I have panic attacks sometimes, it's like uh, when you, it's kind of, I compare it to like when you throw up in your mouth. Yeah, I like know what you you're talking about. When you feel like you're going to throw up, but it doesn't oh, I come. I hate that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then it goes away for a little bit. You're like, all right, I'm okay. And then it's like, oh, fuck. Like, no, there it is. Yeah. And then, like, eventually I just threw up. Yeah. So, like, I just, I went into my room and, like, I laid down for a second. Metaphorically threw up or you actually threw up? Metaphorically. Okay, I see yeah, that. Yeah. So, you were, I'm, I know exactly what you're talking about. So, it was just like, yeah, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I know this isn't normal, but I know... It, it it was weird because it came on like a regular panic attack, but it was like faster than I've ever had one. Right. It hit you. Yeah. Like there was no like stages of being like my hands, my feet, my tinglies. My, I was just like full blown. Like, <gasps> yeah. I was like, oh, fuck. And then like, uh, what do you do in this situation usually? What's your approach? My thing is like, you know, I take medication for it. Right. But then like also it's like I've developed such good coping mechanisms like, through therapy and like breathing techniques like, this was, like, a really bad one. If it was a year ago, I wouldn't have came here and done the show. I know. I That's why I was telling you, don't drive if you feel yeah, like, you know what I mean? But my thing is, like, you know, if, if I can't get myself to a point where I can't beat this thing, it, it, it stays with me longer than, like, the actual panic attack. Right. Because then mentally I'm like, yo, dude, like, I could have done this. Like, you guys had to do the show. You didn't go because, like, yeah. you had this. But in my head, it's um, I go back to being like, I have the tools. Yeah. I, I know I, I, cause I've beat it before. I could beat this again. And then, like, it took, I was like, you know, like, I'm just gonna take an hour and just get my head right and take my medicine and relax and chill. And then I was like, oh, all right, like, I can fucking do whatever now. It's yeah, just you, such a great feeling to be like, I was in such a shitty place an hour ago and like, I'm completely at a different place. Yeah. Well, you have to learn. I think everyone can fucking agree that the first panic attack you ever have in your life is without a doubt the scariest. Yeah, it's had. so doo doo ass. Now the only thing that can add to that is depending on where you are. Like if you have a panic attack on a plane, that's just uncomfortable and that situation is the suckiest. But everyone can agree the first one you think you're actually dying of a heart attack. Oh, so yeah. so it's like it's it's oh, yeah, very yeah, scary. Yeah. But you do have to learn how to master it mentally. And it's, it is in a way kind of cool because you're teaching yourself to fight against your, it sucks. It's not cool, but it's like, it's, it's cool that you're, that you can learn techniques to actually fight. It's not something that yeah. can ruin your life forever. You yeah. Know I mean? And everyone has it differently though. There are different levels. Yeah. I, I think it's, it's, it's something that has, t it's obviously t it's taken me years to like, to be able to do that because if I used to have a panic attack two years ago, right. Uh, it would ruin like days in a row. Right. It would be multiple times a day. It would be terrible. I couldn't do anything. So now it's like I, I don't try to run f from them. I kind of like embrace them. It's almost like a big ass wave on the beach. Y right? Yeah, exactly. And yeah. it's like if you try to like run away from it, it's just going to like throw you on the ground. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's, if I, but if I just stand there and kind of just jump with it and jump right in. And Do you think anything it, triggers yours or can they just happen to you sometimes? No, I think uh, everyday stresses uh, like like stress me out. Like I think I just have like a stress meter that kind of builds over time. It's like one of those things like a, like a, like a telephone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we have... Oh! Your stinks? Oh, now my lips are chapped. Yeah, I know. Oh, damn. 
That's not that bad, actually. No. I think I shit myself, though. No, because your place already smelled like buffalo wings when I got Oh, here. did you smell the wings? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, this yeah. going to be a fucking farting man. <laughs> I, I you, sleep, you, you were, like, taking a nap. I was yeah, like, I this could. guy's all fucking farted up. Like, yeah, he's yeah all, that, all that fucking wing sauce got yeah. me knocked out on the couch. Is that sea light? Yeah, that was candlelight. Candlelight, fucking best, candlelight best slaps, fucking wings man. in Westchester. The Canada. sauce just like it, they made a comeback, dude. It's fucking they've been great. Lately. I might have to grab it on the way home. I'll order. I'll buy you some. What time do they close? I'll buy you some for coming here, and especially since you felt like shit, I'll, I'll get it for you. What time do they close? Like three. All right, so yeah, we'll, we'll we have, have to. Sell we, have time. Time. Yeah, we, we have time. We have time. Um, but yeah, no, fucking uh, <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. I haven't had candlelight in so long. I love that shit. But um, we'll get back into that too because I actually do have a really great candlelight story. Um. But it was like one of those things like, uh, remember in cartoons where they would put a thermometer in a cartoon's mouth and it would come and yes. blow up the yes. glass? Yes. That's kind of like what my panic attacks are like. I could feel them building momentum and I know it's coming. So like I like I said, I have like tools that I work with, obviously, and I need my tools. I need my tools. I need my tools. This is my, 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 my shit. shit. Fetish shit. shit. So like I, I'm working with my tools. And then, you know, some of it breaks through. Like, I build the wall, but, like, some of it gets through. Like, not every wall is perfect, and, like, there's little cracks. Right. So, so I remember I just right. took, like, so a basically, deep breath. Like, so basically you are trying to keep Mexicans out when you have Pretty much. Attacks. Yeah, yeah. I try to be as racist as possible <laughs> with my panic attacks. <laughs> panic attacks. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I'm very, I'm very uh, uh, QAnon when it comes to my panic attacks. But for me, I was like, yeah, like, all right, here we go. I just take, like, deep breaths, and I'll go in my room. I like to be alone right. in the beginning, but if they get, like, weird and I start getting shaky, like, then I'll call for help. I'm just like, Selena, right. you know, come get me. But, like, medication, and I can only speak for me. I, it's, I can't speak for anybody else, but, like, if it wasn't for my medications, like I would just live a like a much harder life. Like I, I, I just would. Yeah, and I, and I agree because, I mean, I know it's it's so funny. Like I know you and everyone else is like, well, have you ever thought about meds? And I do. And then there, and I, and I admit there are fears of meds, but there's gonna be a day where I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's oh, yeah. just let's just try them out at least. Well, that's what happened to me. I said, yeah, I, I can't fucking take this anymore. I'll try anything. I'll just try point. anything. Yeah. yeah. I was like, yo, yeah. you could fucking treat me like Leonardo DiCaprio and fucking Shutter Island. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, whatever you want to do, like, <laughs> if this is, like, just going to go away for a yeah. little bit, I'll, yeah. I'll fucking do it. Do you think he knows who he is at the end of that movie? See, I... And, only, he, and he's just tired of it? Dad was the only person that, like, thought... Shutter Island was like exactly like what it said. What do you mean? Like, um, oh, like he thought shit was actually happening. No, he thought that like they tricked him into thinking he like lived there. Oh, and I was I like, see. no, dad, it's not that. He's been there the entire time. Yeah, I think he's been there the entire time. And, and he's just, he's mentally disturbed. But dad was like, no, that's not true. Like he came there and they like changed him. Was it that kind of movie where you could even take it that way, though? It's I think as if maybe they evaporated it evaporated <laughs> through the walls. <laughs> what, what, is what is that from? Fuck it, that's from Shutter Island. Island. Yeah. Oh, it's. It's as if she evaporated through the walls. <laughs> is that fucking uh, <laughs> Sir ben, ben Kingsley? Yeah, Sir Ben Kingsley. Sir Ben. Some fucking nasty. Speaking of. Speaking of uh, um, wait, no, Gandhi wasn't a monk. What am I talking about? Uh, he kind of. Was he? No, I don't think he was. Well, Ben Kingsley played Gandhi, which was. Uh, Hindsight is that is that brown face? If it, yeah, if hindsight's twenty twenty and can see racism, it's that's, probably that's brown face. That's brown it? face. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much. But he did get, didn't he get an Oscar for it too? I think. Yeah, he did. God, imagine getting an Oscar for brown face. Is that what you people knight people for in the UK? You sick fucks. Yeah, pretty much. Racist idiots. How do you feel about like? Just kidding. Like everyone's fine. We're all cool. Yeah, we're all fine. We're all friends. But like that also brings you back to like the full retard thing from Tropic Thunder. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like. Should Sean, like, Sean Penn, like, Sean Penn was, like, really... I know, no, no, really, he was really, really into the really, role. Really, he was really, into really into the role. And, and like, the thing is, is, again, when you have people who are, uh, what's what's PC? Mentally challenged, obviously. I don't even know. I, I don't know either. Like, I'm afraid to touch it because I don't know what it is. Um, but when you have people who are, like, you have the gentleman who was... 
I feel like I have to say gentlemen. So I, I say challenge. I say challenge. So, so, I, don't have, so I, don't have, I don't get fucking canceled here. Yeah. But the, uh, the challenge Peter Butter gentleman. Falcon. That kid yeah. was amazing. He was fucking amazing in it. Yes. And again, obviously he lives that life and he can play that role a lot better than anybody than fucking Sean Penn can. Yes. But I remember watching Sean Penn and he's like, oh God, he's like falling down the stairs and shit. And he's got and weird I, and hands. Dude, even as a kid, well, we were younger watching, we were watching a kid. I was like, yo, this is... This is like, this is like, this is kind of fucked up. Yeah, dude. I felt the same way watching it. I was like, yo, like, and I'm just saying this because this is what I said. I was like, he's like too retarded. It did not, it didn't move, it didn't move me at all. Like the movie didn't, I was kind of oh, like. Oh no, that shit had me crying. Dog. I didn't give a shit. I thought it was terrible. I thought he was terrible. I thought it was bad, bro. And yeah. That movie, that movie didn't do that. I'm pretty sure that movie didn't do well either. Look up Rotten Tomatoes. And see what fucking I am Sam got. I'm pretty sure it didn't do that well. Like that was like a. I'll tell you this: Dakota mystery. Fanning like, is amazing in that. Yeah. Oh my god! Well, she's a she's such a good actress. I am Sam. Rotten Tomatoes got a 35. This, okay, there you go. Because he went full. Audience score though 86. Right. So what's the middle of that? 60, 50 something. Yeah, I don't know. All I know is that. Uh, I mean, what matters more? Does the audience does the audience matter more? The, do you think? I think the audience matters more than critics because critics suck. Critics do suck. They suck. Critics about everything suck. I just, I'm not going to lie, man. I saw the movie and I was just like, this movie sucks. <laughs> I just didn't like it. I just didn't think it was good. Yeah. He just it wasn't was too he, much. He wasn't like, he like, and I'm not saying like what's believable or not, but if we're going to talk about what's believable, like Dustin Hoffman in Rain Man. Very believable. That movie was fucking amazing. Yeah. They didn't go full. That's Tom right. Tom Cruise, you know. So and yeah, and honestly, as, as, mu as much as people are, were tropical, Tropic Thunder has like its its shit that was he was out of there. He was nominated there, for blackface. Here's I know he had, for an he Academy was nominated Award. for an Oscar as well. Ben Kingsley got it for fucking Gandhi. Can we look that up and just see if that's true before we get yelled at? Uh, and and fucking and Robert Downey Jr. got nominated for his role in Tropic Thunder. Which is so ironic because of the character. I'll be honest with you. He looks mad Indian. He there. Well, he doesn't look Caucasian. No. I'm going to say that much. He what does, the fuck? God, is that him? Is that... Wait, or is that actually Gandhi? Let's look up Ben Kingsley, Gandhi, and see... Wow, yeah, that's brown. He's very brown. He looks Bro, like dad. He looks like a bald Italian. He looks like I'm dad. Sorry, he dude. looks like a bald Italian. He looks like if dad went to Myrtle <laughs> Beach for a weekend. <laughs> he literally <laughs> looks like dad. He does not look like Gandhi. Dude. I mean, it's cool. It's, it's, we're, dude, that's bronzer, bro. That's a hundred percent brown face. Oh yeah. That's bad. And the Oscar goes too. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Mm. Movies were weird, dude. And I for an eye will only leave the whole world blind. <laughs> That's kind of that is a bar. Though. Really good acting will leave everybody else blind. Apparently, to brownface because yeah, was, <laughs> because no one so. gave a shit that Sir Ben Kingsley is white. At I, actually, I don't know. Well, who knows what he, who knows what he is too. He's I probably, think actually, I think we fucked up. I think he yeah. is something. Okay, yeah. Let's see because if he's if he's, I think we fucked up. Right, but I'm glad that we're backtracking now before someone's like actually Sir Ben Kingsley ethnicity. Yeah, let's see. Uh. Mm, nothing yet. He might be. He might be Indian. Yeah, he's Indian. I told you he looked Indian, bro. Oh, yeah, he's English and Indian. So we got to take him out. Damn, we got to take him out. But Robert Downey Jr. stays in. Now I will for say, nomination. I will, but I will defend you. He's Indian. I will defend you. They did brown him up a bit in the movie. He's not. He's not that, that naturally brown. That literally does not look like a tan. No, either. no, 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 no. They browned him up. But is he? Ha is he? So he's mixed. I'm guessing. He's half English, half half Indian. Indian. Because I don't Which think the it, history there makes sense. Because his name is not Ben Kingsley. That's got to be a fake name, right? You think so? so? Let's see. Let's see what his real fucking name is. For, uh, Freddie Mercury's uh, half in or was mixed. Indian too as well, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. Or Persian, I think. His real name is Krishna Pandit Banji. Yeah, he's Indian as fuck, dude. What? We I'm an I'm. A, I'm a, well, I, I take it, I take everything back. One second. 
Damn. Oh. Your fucking butthole's gonna have brown face by the end of the night. <laughs> God damn it. All right. I, 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 I apologize oh, I apologize God. to everybody. See, this is why I backtracked. No, it, this I, is why I said this is why I said unless maybe he is, and then you were like, no, I think we fucked up. I think he is something. I take but I, what the fuck? I didn't know his name was Krishna. Yeah, no. That when when I heard Sir Ben Kingsley and I remembered I'm him, sorry. No, no, no. Listen, this is why we do it on the show. Um but <laughs> fuck it. after this we're gonna get into the ads. I actually before we get into the ads, I'm gonna pause this because I have to take a shit. Oh god, yeah, all right. I almost okay. shit my pants. Okay. <laughs> Gotta keep that in. Yeah. Okay, fine. God damn, I had to take a shit. Then he had to take a dump. Hell yeah. You gotta take a dump. Give me a hell yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, but what were we talking uh, about? Right, ben right. Kingsley? Like, oh my, yeah, yeah, my, we myth My, my our... counter argument to that, though, is everyone got pissed when they found out Drake wore blackface, though, for the that Adonis thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, like I said, they did brown him. They browned him. It's still kind of weird, but. Yeah, they browned, they browned him a little bit. But it's obviously. Probably most people aren't going to be as butthurt if it's like some guy that's just some white dude from the UK, right? Or right. is he is he UK? I don't even know where this yeah, guy's yeah. from anymore. He's from Yorkshire. He's a great actor, though. Great uh, actor. Great actor. Great actor. And the movie is... The movie's okay. It's not really that great. He's honestly, just really good honestly, at acting. I've never seen it. It's all right. It ends, obviously, with him getting shot. So Spoiler alert. Yeah, but uh, he like... Ru- ruined it for me. <laughs> But uh, but Gandhi, yeah, Gandhi had a lot of sex. Gandhi was a certified freak. Yeah, I think he was. Gandhi, I think I think, I think he fell. I think him and Ben uh, Franklin were both falling under the. Uh, I think they both uh, got their fair bit of uh, you know fuck fuck in. It's so weird. They were a little loose like, with the ladies. It's so weird because like there's so many people like that we make like these amazing historical figures. But they're just humans. But they're just humans. Trying but to they're fuck. but they're also just like gross people. Yeah, no, some of them are really actually dickheads. Yeah. They're like not they're, really that great. Or or it's not even that they're dickheads, but they have like I'm not speaking for them, but even the ones that are the nicest have faults. Like they've cheated or they did something. You well know that just mean? shows you that women do get treated the most like shit. If you think, hundred <laughs> percent. Because if you think about it, it's like they do all these amazing things, right? But like Gandhi, I think he didn't he have like a whole bunch of like women that would like watch him like take a shit, like he yeah, would do think, like weird shit. Yeah, I think he was like a, I think he was uh, like a full on like womanizer. Yeah, shit. and then it's like, you know, like everyone's like, oh my god, like John Lennon like wrote Imagine, but like didn't he like punch his first wife? There's always that big butt that comes in. That's like the you know. But, you know, they did this. Well, that's, like, where the separation between, like, the movement and the art and the, the person and the yeah, thing. Yeah, where so did he find becomes, the time to starve himself and then take a shit in front of women because it turned him on or something? Yeah, I, I just feel like he's... <laughs> actually what he did, too. Yeah, yeah, I think he did. Gandhi was a certified freak. Damn, like, oh, oh, weird. But, you know, he, he, he was definitely troubled. He was definitely troubled, uh, which I'm sure Ben Kingsley... Uh, Probably did his research and knew maybe, but I don't know. Um, but let's get into the yeah, ads. Yeah, you want to get into ads? Yeah, let's get into the ads. Our friends over at Manscaped. Manscaped. Splish splash. I was taking, taking a, a bath. bath. And, bum, I bum, know, bum, bum. and I noticed how beautiful my balls are. Uh, our friends at Manscaped, the global leaders in below the waist hygiene, are turning men's shower dreams into their favorite routine with the all new ultra premium collection. This is an all in one hygiene skin and hair bundle, is designed to upgrade. Man's everyday shower routine from head to toe. Your skin, Boom. your hair, your balls. They all deserve the same treatment, and Manscaped has every part of your body covered. Save big by going to manscaped.com for 20% off with the code LOPS. That's L-O-P-S. Yes. You get 20% off your entire purchase, and you also get free shipping. 20%. Uh, listen, so this is what you could do. You can go and get that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful packaging that they have for all of their products and then it'll come to your house right and then you can lather on the uh cologne infused ultra premium body wash with aloe vera and sea salt to keep your skin feeling clean and moisturized uh the body wash it's cologne infused so that special someone in your life will absolutely Ooh. love it uh you could also it's take care take time to take care of your hair baby you can apply the two-in-one shampoo because listen we got places to go one shot bing bang boom that cleanses and nourishes in one step. The non-greasy formula has the base of coconut water, which is great. Green tea, also great. 
uh, t- uh, turmeric. I always have a hard time with that word. And sage. So you're going to be smelling f- 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 fantastic. And you can also apply it to your armpits and pew breach as well. Ooh. And last but not least. Did not know that. Yeah, last but not least, don't forget about the Lawnmower 4.0 electric trimmer to clean off any unwanted body hair. The Lawnmower 4.0 is waterproof, so you bet it's a major key to your new shower routine. So go ahead and head over to manscaped.com uh, for 20% off. Use the promo code LOPS to get 20% off your entire purchase and free shipping. Can't hate that. I love our friends over at Manscaped, and I also love our friends over at Current. Currency. Current is the future of banking. Spend, save, and manage your money better with Current uh, through the Current app and debit card. Um, this is what you guys all need to know. You can earn points on every swipe, redeemable for cash back. No ATM uh, ATM fees on over 40,000 in-network all-point ATMs in the U.S. And it is the best way to save. That's 60 times the national savings rate of 0.06 APY. All right. So if you can earn 4% back, that's what it is on your savings. Why not? And also, there are no fees for this feature or balance minimum requirements to access. Okay. I've started banking with Current and I love getting my annual percentage back on my savings. I love it, and this is what you guys can learn to love it too, okay? Remember, we've partnered with Current to give away $1,000, okay? $1,000, that's right. Current is giving away $250 to four listeners of the Low Priority Podcast. All you have to do is download the Current app at current slash L-O. We're going to go with current.com slash L-O for a chance to win. Remember, that's current dot com slash l o winners will be awarded april 1st so don't wait go and sign up now and try and get that 250 bucks daddy no purchase is necessary purchase won't increase chances of winning uh so you you know don't go crazy you know uh void where prohibited eligibility restrictions apply visit current.com slash low for full terms and conditions all right. Uh, Current is a financial technology company, not a bank. Banking services provided by and Visa debit card issued by Choice Financial mm-hmm. Group member FDIC. The current annual percentage yield is variable and may change at any time. Terms and conditions apply. Um, yeah, so uh, let's get back into the show. Thank you for our friends over at Manscaped and our friends over at Current for being sponsors thank you, thank of you. the show. Uh, Michael, so it was your birthday. Um, I got you a gift Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, really? I got you a present, so I got to go off the camera and get it. All right, yeah, uh, and then I'll, we'll, I'll like, fucking, it was a wild night. on the Well, it was on the 15th, it's my birthday, but I did a little stream birthday party. Were you, did you stop by there? Um, on the yeah, 12th? I was, I, was, I was present. I was absolutely gone, out of my fucking mind. Yeah. All I know is that everyone, T-Pain gave me $500. His wife gave me like fifty dollars or a hundred or something. Amazing, amazing, amazing brother. <laughs> amazing. Love that. Uh, it was uh, Jimmy. Gave, it was a wild fucking night. I drank. I want to say twenty claws. Jesus. And wine and red wine. No wonder you almost died. Yeah, so. And then I love you went to the doctor and, like, rest your voice like you're Aretha Franklin. Yeah, li- literally. And then, like, you have, a rupt- you have like, a ruptured, like, uh, from forcing your puke. And your legs hurt because you've been st- constricting all your fucking muscles. Amazing, brother. <laughs> love so, that. All right. Oh. Wait, this is what you did last time, though. You put it in something else, but it's not from there. No, it's this from is, there. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's from Bar- Well, that's when Barney's was. It open. doesn't have to be. I'm just saying. I don't want to. I didn't want to say that, and then that's not what it is. Yeah, Barney's is, is do, actually doesn't exist. <laughs> Your box is wearing Barney face. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, guys. All right, Danny's go- guys. Danny goes in. He showed up with Joe Santagato to my birthday. Uh, what is this? Two years ago now? Fucking holy shit! Was that no, two longer years ago? than that? Probably like three. Three. Yeah. And really Danny's really. like, yeah, what up? Anyway, he's he's. <laughs> Yeah, just like him. I feel like Danny just like he didn't do it like this, but Danny just came in like, yeah, what up? Happy birthday, <laughs> like, threw him on the table. I feel like a lot of people when they give gifts, they make it like this big too thing. Yeah, it's it's too big. It is, you it know, is. just like hey, well, I was thinking about you for your birthday. Also, Here Dan- you go. Danny knows me. Danny was like, yeah, what up? Happy birthday. Like, yeah, what up? Yeah, <laughs> like, he I, knows how I am too. Yeah, like I, I, like, uh, I feel like sometimes you, like people have to put on the, like the, oh my god the birthday like, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't it's, have to. It's, it's no, no, no. 
All right, but I will put on the oh my god, thank you face for this yeah, for sure. Ooh, what? Yeah. Originals, Clark Originals, Cities. Ooh, but, but you know what I'm gonna do, right? But they're from Barney's. You know what I'm gonna do, right? What's up? I'm gonna smell them. Oh yeah. God damn, that smell. God damn. So these ones. These are the fucking. Clarky Wallables, yeah, these, dude. These particular ones are, uh, this is what it says. From Barney's. Ah, well, I ain't talking about the purple bitch. Nah, so those are. Uh, yes. So it says, mm. it says Barney's on the tag. It doesn't say Clark's original. It says Barney's New York. Thanks, bro. Italian, you got it. Italian kiss. I just, Thank you. I just pooped. I don't know if any of it's on my face. <laughs> the okay. Clark's original product is made from premium kudu leather. Damn, kudus. From English tannery kudos. Charles F. Steed. Kudos on the kudus. But these are actually... Uh, what is this made out of, like, whale fucking dick? I don't know what that is, but these are... This I, is elk skin. Damn, bro. Fucking... Yeah. Did Joe Rogan cook it? He, uh, he hunted it and, and fucking made yeah. it for us. And then, like, gave it a... A vaccination bro treatment. and black yo thank you man there i you absolutely go. love them man holy shit i've always there wanted to go. know what the bottom of like wall I mean, that's the term right aren't these wallabies yeah what i've never known what these are these i always fear the worst for because they get the shits on the bottom when you wear them out there's something that you could spray on them to keep them from getting fucked right yeah because our family are fucking uh, my cousins wallaby fucking gangsters christian had like 30 of the wu-tang wallabies oh yeah uh, um, love yeah, wallabies you, though. They're they're underrated shoe, are they not? They are an underrated shoe, and also they are the Walter Whites. That's what Walter White. Oh yeah. baby, I'm about to come through with the button up and some fucking cholos. That's what it some is. fucking uh, some khakis. But yeah, these are them some fucking chicos. Those are fucking. These are tight. Thank you. I love them very much. Yeah. So they did a collab with Clark's, and uh, I got a, I got a couple pairs. They're from. Ooh. 2017 what would you wear your clarks with what would you wear these with like what kind of pants like what kind of fucking sexy setup would you put on for us a black jean for sure black jean yeah tight or like loose or like no what? tight tight ass like not so tight but no like, not like, like taper peter pan tight right yeah you know it's like a it's it's a tight just keep it tight but not too tight but not too tight yeah i mean that's like that's, a slim fit that's a classier clark that you have there see i have this color yeah, those are the old school beige. Yeah, so now it's like you kind of have like a nice. Anybody got nice Wallabies shape. watching the fucking show? Uh, anybody got the the like the Clarks? Let me know. These are my first pair. Yeah, see, so I had like limited I, quantities. You can't find these. Anymore. I had like used from my friend, and they were disgusting, and they were bigger than my foot, so I didn't like them wearing them at all. Obviously, yeah. Uh, so so like, this is gonna be my first real. Well, Barney's is like Saks Fifth Avenue now. Like you can like you can't even go to a Barney's anymore. We have, wait, why is that? Uh, I think Saks just bought them. Oh, wait, so Sax is... Oh, yeah, of course Sax is Richard. Yeah, talking yeah. About. But Barney's has always had bread, too, right? That was like a place you went to if you had a little bit of fucking... Yeah, hell fucking, yeah. Fucking some greens, Oh, right? them, them, them shoes ain't cheap, daddy. Oh, I believe it. Them shoes ain't cheap, daddy, but Danny, it's for your birthday, so... Oh, I fucking love them. Do you keep on the fucking flap? You do, right? Always keep on the flap, All especially right. these ones because they say Barney's. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, brother. Um, It'll be really good when I fucking get robbed so everyone can fucking see. No, nah, you'll be perfectly fine, I think. And that's, <laughs> no, you know, man. honestly, I would rob these though. These are fucking fire. Hell yeah. I have the Wu Tang wallet. And while I know those are the fucking, fucking sexy editions too. Yeah, I have the yellow and black. They're like the black bottom uh, Wu Tang wallaby that I, I've never worn. I have like so many shoes I've just never worn. Oh, by the way, so, uh, your boy, uh, going into other news, your your boy Kanye got fucking banned from Instagram. But how come I can still see his account? I think he got, like, banned for, like... Like a tap on the wrist, like a slap on the wrist ban? Yeah, because, like, he called, like, uh, Trevor Noah. Yeah, yeah. The C, uh, C word. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if we're allowed to say that word. No, we're 100%. No, of course not. We're not allowed <laughs> yeah, to fucking so, say that so, word. Um, so that's what he got in trouble for. But, yes. Um, just reporting and, the news. And he turned it into a fucking uh, bonfire song. Yeah. A campfire song. So, uh, But, yeah, it was, it was literally... I watched what Noah Trevor said actually the day before with my girl and like i don't have a problem with trevor noah i i definitely like trevor noah i think he makes good points sometimes but also sometimes i think he needs to shut the fuck up 
He's like, he's not like he has his moments where he's awesome, and then he he has moments where he I feel like he's literally trying to cater too much to a woke crowd. Yes. Um, but he was making good points with this because at the end of the day, like I don't care what anyone says, whether you think Kanye is still ch- doing fine and he, this is not hurting him or not. It's still a tainting to his legacy because it's a stupid, a weird thing to talk about over and over and over. I agree. He's As done a- other things before that are outlandish, but like, this is just like, kind of just like, this is like 18. This is like, like, like high school shit. I yeah. feel this is, this is what a high school boy would do if he got dumped. Right. And I just feel like it's just like, it's if just you, like, bro, move on. Like get some, get some, butt. he does do, though. Do, well, that's what I mean. But like, he's still doing that, but it's negating it all while he just fucking goes out and fucking talks about her every day. And like his kids and, 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 and I'm going to be honest. I really, at this point, bro, at first I was kind of like understanding shit he was saying sometimes, but now I feel like he's legit using his kids as like an excuse to just come up with other shit. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I do, do I believe that he really wants to be like a dad? Yes. A hundred percent. I do too. But this is the kind of behavior that he's getting away with because he is Kanye West. Okay, yeah, of course. If I saw you doing this to your girlfriend, I'd be very worried about you. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. I, I'd be like extremely worried about your well being mm-hmm. if like you were just like posting like shit and like right. Even if like you did art and posted weird art, I'd still be, like, be like, I'd still be like, yeah, like what are we doing? Like, are you okay? like I would move in here for like a week to like make sure you don't kill everybody in the building, right? But ha- but what what happens when he actually kills Pete and he goes, it's just art? You know what I mean? It's, it's that, just- he, my point of that is, is Kanye gets a little too into his art. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and as he should be, he's a fucking, he's a genius. Let me tell you, he actually is in a lot of ways. She knows musical genius. She knows how to pick him, I guess. Well, here's another thing too. She, she's no fucking goddamn saint either. And everyone needs to know that too as well. And, and and that's why, to be honest, there are still some people who are like, I know that there are a lot of people who think he's being a bully, but there are still a lot of people who end the, who end the argument with, but it is Kim and I get it. You know what I mean? Cause she, when he said to Pete, he's not built for this. I felt that because she's built for it. And so is he, she literally has a sex tape out yeah, and she's still thriving and killing it. Yep. She, and has a show. And then was like, we're done. Oh, guess what? We're back. And yeah. now it's Hulu. It's like, we can curse now. Oh yeah, they can. Yeah. That's yeah they true. can say fuck shit ass. Bitch. Actually kind of, I'm not gonna lie. I've definitely watched a, a, my fair share of fucking keeping up with the Kardashian episodes. Michael, I've watched so, so much <laughs> K-U-T-W-K. Dude, I've watched, per, I've probably seen every episode. Damn, you watched that much cut quick? Damn, bro. I cut hard. I cut that quick. I cut quick. Cut quick. Cut quick. Were you there during the that fucking uh, guy who wants to be uh, uh, Blake Griffin so bad, but he couldn't be, that you, you mean, dated? You mean Chris Humphreys? Yeah, yeah. young. Did I watch the wedding special? Yeah, I did. Chris Bumphreys? What happened? You don't to think Bum- I feel bad? What happened to Bumphreys? Yeah, yeah, I know. What yeah. happened to Bumphreys is he kept playing the league for a couple of years. I think he was an all-star one year. Yeah, he actually wasn't that bad at all, right? He no, was pretty he p- good. played for the Nets. He was pretty good. And then... Uh, Piss Bumphreys. Yeah, it hit, like this guy would go shoot free throws and everyone would call him, like, Chris Kardashian. And, like... Yeah, that sucks. That That is annoying. Like, it's... Th- they, here, just, they do destroy men. Because and they're... Men dis- and then because the men destroy themselves. They're built for it, bro. Their fucking mom is a fucking beast. She is, like, the fucking... She's like the madame of them. She like just holds it down and told them no matter what anyone says, no matter what anyone's do, you're going to get that money at the end of the day. And they do. Yeah. They and really it, do. And it also like comes up to like the thing of like Kim also too, is like, she was on Ellen talking about like Pete branding himself. Like that's not normal. I'm sorry. No, it was weird. And, and you'd be like, like, I say, thought it was cute. I was like, yo, that's fucking weird, bro. Yeah, she's like Pete's like, a fucking weird dude. He, yeah, he is. And he'll, he he'll is. actively admit that like he's a strange cat. He is, but at, but at the same time, it's they're just, they're I mean opposites attract, and they are opposite. They have to be. There's no way they're completely the same person. No, all. but like how um, much how much of this like lies on his like his big ass penis? Uh, like, I mean, I think the big dong definitely helps because he's got some fucking competition. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I really let me, t- I let re- me tell you something. Ray J had a big ass penis. I'm sure she. I'm sure she. I'm sure she. Uh, <laughs> 
I'm just being honest. When I saw Ray J's penis, I was like, that's a big penis, dude. Uh, it'd be Brother. so funny when we were doing Raycon fucking ads. And yeah, you were right. like, by the way, Ray J has a big dick. They told us yeah, to yeah, that. Yeah, buy these headphones. <laughs> they I forgot about Raycon. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, he, I think he's just a funny guy, too. He's a tall guy, also. She probably likes a tall dude. She's dating some basketball players, some, some yeah. athletic men. Um she doesn't I don't think she I don't think she she doesn't really come off to me as someone who would be picky either. I feel like she just wants to actually be I really do think that about her. But um I also think that she's just built for this reality shit cuz that's how she got famous in the first place and a lot of these other people like who are athletes and probably not used to that but they're still you know they're popular but they're not in the limelight like that. You know, yeah. it fucks them or any other celebrity. He's going to be used to it, too. He's already dealt with it with Ariana Grande and yeah. fucking everybody, every other uh, dime lord, the, the lordess that he's been with. But, like, you know, I feel like the kid's, great, kid's got a great resume. Yeah, he's doing fine for himself. He's doing perfectly he's doing fine. fine. Especially for a dude that looks like fucking Ren from Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> like, he's doing, he's People crushing. People say you look like him. Like Pete? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, our niece actually was like, you remind me of him. I was like, oh, I look like him like a lot. You think? She goes, I don't think you look like him a lot, but she's like, you just remind me of him for some reason. See, I And I was like, say, okay, I guess. People tell me I look like Ed Bassmaster too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do say that. <laughs> see, I would say, see, I was having a conversation with Selena also because, listen, guys, I posted a, a picture of me and uh, my, my wife, right? my wife. To be. Uh, my wife to be. I call her my wife right now because I, I, this is very serious. Um, <laughs> I, 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 post, I posted a picture of her uh, years ago with yes. Pete, with Pete Davidson. I saw it, and um, a lot of people were in the comments being like, "Yo, like, damn, did, Skeet got there first. They're like, "Yo, did Skeet beat and stuff like that?" And I had to come out and say, "Like, listen, guys, like, he, Skeet did not sleep with my wife. That I'm just going. I can only go based on what she's told me." How long did it take her to show you that picture, though? Oh, she showed me that picture like right very, away, very early on in our relationship, and then I was like, "Yo, can you send that to me? Because I want to post it." <laughs> How old is she there? Probably like early twenties. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, so like I'm just kind of like, hey, like listen, like I need this because a lot of people are gonna want to know what's going on here, and obviously I just created all of this just to be funny on the internet. Oh, it was hilarious. But you know, like I beat Skeet. I beat Skeet. I so, get like, that shirt. Oh hell yeah, I beat Skeet. And then the thing is too, it's like. <laughs> You know, I have to take her word for it that there was no there was no sex, but like you know, yeah, you won't have a wife if you don't take her word for it, probably. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, I want to believe her as much as possible, but then you hear all these things about like BDE and all this stuff, and like, I, <laughs> and then I asked her, I was like, did you like feel the BDE while you were there? And she was like, yeah, you know, like I I I, I do, I feel it with them. I was like, all right. I was like, but, you know, then she told me that they did not uh, partake in, in sex. <laughs> what? So <laughs> Was she just meeting him after, like, a show for a second? Yeah, or? she went to go see him perform. <laughs> right, okay. So I'm, I, in, doubt, in I doubt it was like they had a night at, like, a fucking hotel with friends. No, 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 no. It looked, that picture actually looks like they're friends. It does look school. like they're chilling, though. It literally looks like they met each other in high school and they've been homies ever yeah, since. Yeah, something. tell me about it. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so for everyone asking, uh, I just really want you guys to like you know just know that if you guys can give us some privacy like in this time yeah, i would really I appreciate will. it uh, yeah i'll respect that from now on you know it, it was something that stop been, texting you about it yeah no it's fine it's like people have been dming me like yo like did you, like how big is it and all this stuff and i was like listen like i have to take her word for it you know <laughs> like that, and that's another thing i even said like in the comment i was like you guys are like not every girl that meets Pete uh, Pete Davidson like fucks him, you know. It's just only like ninety four percent. It's weird that I feel like that's what his most of his career is. It's kind of weird. It's been overshadowed by a vagina that he's been with. Yeah, I mean, good fucking good for him, dude. Because yeah, not mean, a lot a of New people. No one talks about a single movie he's been. In. Oh, actually, that's not true. King of New York is pretty good. But I will tell you this though: King of New York actually was really good. If he did sleep with my wife, oh, we're gonna then it's a wrap for him. No, it's not a wrap. I have a really cool Eskimo brother. That is true. You would have somebody that you have that separ separation of degree with. Kardashian, that would, that would be cool. Grande, yeah, all of those. Kate Beckinsale. Pr yeah. Probably a bunch of other ones we don't even but know about. But you're way happier knowing that that's not the case. I'm way happier knowing that's not the case right now. But then also, if it did happen, Selena would be an have Eskimo. You said have you told her that? Yeah. I'd be like, oh, to Kim Kardashian. Does Selena she, like Kim Kardashian? Loves Kim Kardashian. Okay. Well, not, 
Not she, loves, but like she fucks with she her. She fucks with Kim Kardashian. Okay. So like she obviously knows like a lot about Kim Kardashian because you know that those are her friends. Let me ask you women. this. What did you think about Kim's comments about women need to work harder and stop being lazy bitches? Uh hearing that from someone that started on third base um <laughs> is People saying that, like, she bossed up and shit, it's like, listen, I'm going to tell you guys something. That was the most privileged fucking statement I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. Okay? You were born on third base. And for those that don't, I'm um, sorry that I'm mansplaining it at this moment, but, like, you were start with a head start. Right. Your dad was rich. Your dad represented O.J. Simpson. Your mom was, like, a socialite and was always, like, with a dude who had money. Um, Which she literally, like has admitted admitted to that was her like thing yeah th that's like what she'd like to do like day dudes with money and like go out and do whatever so like whatever that was her lifestyle that's fine but like telling like a bunch of people like they need to get the off their fucking ass and go to work w women specifically though wasn't it women specifically women yeah get off your ass and get the fucking work yeah you don't, you don't think women get off their ass and get the fucking work every day <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the, it, was the, it was just like the weirdest like i'm thinking of like our sit like our sister like sitting as a nurse right and like having lunch and that comes up on like e-entertainment or something oh i'd want to fucking and, kill and myself kiana's just eating a sandwich and like got has like has like her like mask fucking imprints on her face from wearing them all day, and she just has to see fucking Kim Kardashian wearing a fucking condom trash bag on her body, telling people to fucking get up and fucking work all day and work harder, or whatever the fuck she said. I just like it was definitely and don't, I don't fucking curse at me either, bitch. Yeah, she was like, yeah, she was fucking right? cursing, and yeah, she was like, get the fuck up of your fucking eyes and do some shit. Yeah, I'm like now. Yo. Now is she busy as fuck and doing stuff? A hundred percent, she's busy and doing stuff. But let's not forget how we got there, right? Let's not forget how we got there. But that's the thing. It's like if you say that, like you're a fucking misogynist. No, I'm not being a misogynist. I'm being a realist. This girl was born with a huge head start. Okay. Huge head start. We cannot forget that. We cannot. I don't so, even think. I think she was being more misogynistic than, than anybody else. She literally told every hardworking, like average woman, to get up off her ass and work harder if they want what they want to get. Like who? Who? I don't understand who she's talking to in that. It's, and and I don't know what to what caliber is she talking about. It's like bitch. Go if you want to be where I am, work your ass off harder. Is that what? They, because if you're saying that, it makes it even worse because it's unattainable. You got to where you are because of your fucking dad and the, and the fucking antics that you did. So it's like. And yes, again, is she working now and working her ass off? Yes, she is. She's getting to where she is, but she got she, her fucking steps through the door were a lot fucking easier. The door was been the door was open. You know what bothered me the most? She about was that? In, in through the door already. There was no going through it. She was already behind the door. The thing that bothered me the most about that was not Kim. It was fucking Courtney being like for sure. Like, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Motherfucker, yeah. you're on Keeping Up with the Kardashians, and your sisters are literally yelling at you that you don't do shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and that's then what you're, they said to her, and she actually doesn't do anything. And then your right. argument is, I want to be a mother. Yeah, right, right. So what are you saying absolutely for? Right. When your sister called you a fucking lame-o businesswoman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. And then, like, don't fucking say anything. Also, they sit together, too, and they still know that they feel that way about each other, bro. Yeah. Like, listen, okay, you and me have our own opinions about each other, but we also have... I'm sure they have nice things to say about each other, too. That's what keeps them together. And they're I, sisters. I would, I would say 70, and, 80%, they and, say, is, and, and is great. And they're sisters, and we're brothers, and we have our own whatever opinions, but, like... The shit that they were saying and the age that they are on their show at this time, like you and me can yeah, have they, a phys they physically fought each that's other what in I their mean. 40s. You and me can have this. And I'm not saying it doesn't happen to people our age, but come on, yo, your brothers and sisters. Like, oh, sorry, me dude. and Danny will talk on the phone and both be like businessmen or talk about how we have to talk about something before. We have tough conversations. We have tough yeah, conversations every time. week. Yeah. And. I never in my heart will I ever look at this guy and be like, you don't, you've like, you, you fucking don't do shit to get to where you are. Like, if anything, I think, if anything, I think it's like almost disrespectful that they're even near each other and saying shit like that. And then you know that they're talking about you. It's almost like she's talking to Courtney. Yeah. While she's saying it. Yeah, pretty much. And she's like, absolutely. 
I'm just like, yo, you don't do shit, and it's documented that you don't do fucking shit. That's the last. That's like the last fu- episode that they fought, right? Was when yeah. she said that to her. And then in their forties, they fought each other, and Courtney fucked him up. Did she actually b- body her? Yeah, she landed the best punch. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't yeah, I didn't see it. Yeah, dude, was I, it a punch or was it like? No, it was a punch. Like, she, like a leg. She landed a leg kick and a punch that Kim's face hit off the wall. Or was it like that open hand makeup? smack that? Uh, What's his name does in old school the the dean of admissions to oh, yeah. to Will Ferrell when he fucking hits him just, in the face. Just stop. Yeah, I got you. But yeah, she was just like I thought she was just a little out of line for that. And also I like I, I don't like who is she talking to? Is she talking She's to talking, It would be different if younger she, women who were like not old? Like I don't understand. It would be different if they thought uh if if she said to just people in general it would have went over a little. It still would have been like, Ugh, but it would have went over easier. The fact that she said it about women, is, yeah, dude, is it was so. so fucking, it was such a fucking like. I feel like there were the, women. They're who, so out of touch. It's so. That's tone really deaf. what it is. It's, it's tone deaf so and out of touch. touch. And like, who, who are you even talking to? Here, this is this is the fight. This music sucks. Oh yeah. I can't tell who's talking when they talk, by the way. No, they're the worst people in the world. You invited him to dinner? If we're sick, you don't care about stuff. Like, if she's her her fucking matrix hair. Don't do s. Do you know all of. See? She's making, like, she's like, you don't give a fuck about, like, business and work. And Courtney takes it bad person. I only do when right is right, wrong is wrong. Why? No, it's not. Oh, I just said, Mom is so used to it. And then I said, Me, Courtney, me and Chloe. Do, you know, whenever if we're sick, you don't care about stuff. Like if she, if it's a but Saturday, but you act like I don't do. Sh- do you know all I? F- you have this this door. narrative like, in your I'm mind. Not saying saying that no, you no, no, no. I will literally f- you up. You're literally. F- I will wrong literally with you. F- you up. Come here, you guys. My daughter's sleeping. Don't ever come at me like you that. Don't, I stop. swear to God, I'll punch you in your face. <laughs> <laughs> They're you so really funny how they fight. Stop. Okay. Stop. You two. Okay. Stop. Ooh, nice little whip oh, smack there. They look like they're not even. They look like they're acting. Ooh, yeah. Oh, shit. How old are you? Oh, they didn't show the best punch that Lance. Dude, they fucking look like. First off, they fight so funny. They fight. They fight. They don't have emotion in their tones. No, no. They don't raise anything. They don't go like, you fucking bitch. They literally are just like, I'll fucking smack the shit out of you. All right, so let's go. I'll do it right yeah. now. Nah, nah. yeah. They sound like Michael like Jackson. Don't, yeah, they don't, yeah, they don't change their tone at all. Kim's being a they're, so, they're so weird. They're like brain dead, even when their emotions are trying to like come through. So. Let's, I'm gonna hit you so hard. We'll get like we'll get real misogynistic here. It's a joke, but yeah, we're not gonna actually go. No, to. Uh, the three Kardashians and the two Jenners. Yes. Which one would you sex first, all the way down? <laughs> who do I, I mean? Who do I think so, is the hottest? No, yeah, but yeah, pretty much. But no, like sex. Like, who would you rather have sex with? Who would I rather bang? Yeah. So it's it's Kim. You have Kim. Courtney, Chloe, Kendall, Kylie. What's your five? The five that I think that I would... That you would have the most fun with sexually. That I would smack... You sound like a fucking, like... I'll do mine. You sound like a fucking, like... You actually sound like a pimp and, like, fucking point... And, like, a fucking Hunt's point right now. Which one of these ladies do you think would uh, rock your world the Um, most? I'm trying... Um, the ones I would smash the most is definitely uh, in order. In order, Courtney first. Okay, wow. Because she's just like not like I don't know. She seems the most realistic looking to me, to be honest. Um, then I would pr- also uh, then probably Kim. Okay. Uh, then Kylie. Kylie three. No, 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 no. Kendall. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's your yeah. Then Kylie, and then uh, whoever that other one is. Yeah, Chloe. Chloe. Yeah, yeah Chloe's Chloe. Chloe's coming in at five for me for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna put Kendall at four. Nice. I'm gonna put <laughs> I'm gonna put Courtney at three. Yes. I'm gonna put 
Kylie at two. Nice. And I'm going to put Kim at one. Kim at one. Because it's probably a lot of every a lot of people's ones. The reason I, I want to put Kim at one is because I've seen her sex tape and it and she it's so mid. I've never I've never it's, I've it's honestly mid as fuck. I've never seen it and I don't even know I don't want to I just don't care. Yeah. So I, 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 in that I, in that situation, you know I, what I turned me off to all celebrity gross. sex tapes is Pamela and Tommy. I saw it and I just thought it was weird. Like they, 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 say, they. they say weird shit to each other during it and it's yes, just like lover and all it makes me think of is how weird i probably sound when i'm like yeah you like that you know what i mean like i don't fucking like i fucking like i just don't want to see if it's not porn like amateur stuff weirds me out amateur porn it's just like amateur, it, i think amateur porn is like the number one porn in the world right now yeah i'm sure it is that doesn't yeah. mean i'm gonna fucking like it though no 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 so it's like it's, it's weird, weird that like are, are, are you're like a porn star guy i just like old school porn where yeah it's like i don't have any sort of like like the reality is separate and it's yeah, supposed you, to be you have throwback jerks i don't want like ones where they're like yeah like fucking 18 year old girl gets lost in a neighborhood like you know yeah, like, right? what the fuck dude and found like by rich older man who begs for her pussy shit yeah yeah. yeah 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 i agree and then like even titles sometimes just throw me off they're like fucking Little white girl gets absolutely thwarted by fucking Mexican boy. Like you're just like what? Like I don't want the fucking like. Just give me some fucking yeah. Like, give me some. I'll take some like yeah, like some hardness in there once in a while. No like fish hooking weird shit though. I don't like step that mom shit. sucks throbbing stepson's dick. Yeah, I don't like when guys put their fucking f- foot, their feet on girls' faces while they're doing them from behind. That's fucking weird too. Like. Yeah. What's wrong with you people? You fucking cavemen. Go but go fucking live in a goddamn fucking tunnel. Yeah. Um but uh That's kinda cool. But uh like we have a friend, I won't say his name, a mutual friend, and he sent me one of like this girl in like a gangbang. Just being absolutely like Gangbangs are weird. Just being absolutely like I mean, she's down. It's obviously she's very down, but oh, it just uh, it's it's frightening. It's like they're first off, way too many dudes doing this. In like a circle, just keeping themselves up. Yeah, and it's so weird seeing. Like, I don't like that shit, man. It's too much. It's weird. It's I don't much. like that shit. I've never liked like uh, like I, you find like Jared shit to Jared. I know. Like I know exactly the scene you're talking about. Too. The hockey one. Yeah, because we talked about it. Oh, the hockey scene. Yeah. Well, that's not that's not the friend. This is the one the one that Jared had. Jared had this old porno tape that I found, and it's this girl and her porn star. Her name was Cricket. <laughs> and she fucking that was her name yeah that and, was her name yeah and uh she just gets banged by like 30 dudes on a hockey team <laughs> and it's just like by the way they're on ice which is pretty impressive actually but like i remember watching this oh when God, i was I younger and i'm like yeah so i'm gonna much. be into this and i remember watching this and i'm like this sucks it's 30 different sizes of dicks some guys are going full on like this. So much Some dick. dudes are just going like this with their fucking three fingers because their dicks aren't that big. And it's just like, I hate orgy stuff. It's so annoying. It's like, Dave, None of it's Dave Chappelle no, even no. said it in an old stand-up he did. He's like, I'm, I'm like a one dick show guy. Like, I don't need any more dicks than that. Yeah, you, you can't get crazy because, it, but it, the thing is though, it's like, Oh, it's like Guinness World Record sex. It's so weird. Yeah, it's just like, are, yeah, like, are we like breaking a world record here? No, like, yeah. what's going on? I just want to like, watch like two people go at it, so I can be influenced to do that with another person one day. Yeah, like I don't want to watch sex that just looks so physically demanding. Yeah, it's just like yes, and it looks like a fucking like a gauntlet. Yeah, it's like of cocks that you're just going through. There's so many dicks there, and it's just too much for me. Me too. I don't want it. like it's a fucking dick carnival, and it's just weird. And it's just like... It's like, just, you're waiting to, like, tag in? It's I remember so as a young weird. kid, I decided that day, I was like, I don't I don't like this type of porn. It's yeah. weird. Especially when the DVD was called Gang Bang Girl. Yeah. That's yeah. what the name of the DVD was. Yeah. Sorry, Jared. So, uh, oh, is that actually what it was called? Yeah, that's what it was called. Because I yeah. remember I found the DVD case. Now, was Jared into it? I don't know. It was way in the back. Maybe it was one that... It had some dust on it. Maybe yeah, you know, Maybe it wasn't even really for him either. I'll, I'll tell you what Jared was into. Oh, oh shit! Eighth Street Latinas. Oh, Eighth Street. Eight, who's not? Bro? Yeah, come on. Some you know, bi- some big booties. You know what I mean? He had with uh, permission, of course. I remember one time uh, <laughs> he had a whole bunch of uh, like Wu Tang, the original Wu Tang, like movies. Yeah, and uh, they were also like in his porn stash, like around there. And he was like, "Yo, like if you're gonna watch my movies, like rewind them." And I was like. All right, like my bad. Like I, I just watched like. Oh, that was his way of getting at you about the, uh, 
Oh, yeah, the porn. He had a great, yeah, he had a great line. I was like, oh no, he's like, my bad, I didn't mean to watch. Uh, I'll rewind the Wu Tang video. He's like, I'm not talking about Wu Tang. I'm talking about. I think I was there when he said. (laughs) He's like, I'm not talking about Wu Tang. I was there when he said that to you. Yeah, he's like, I'm not talking about Wu Tang. I'm talking about Poo Tang. (laughs) You better fucking rewind my shit. Yeah, we were all sitting in Jared's because this is just some older brother shit to his younger brothers, and Jared just goes, yeah, if you guys are gonna watch my shit, just make sure you rewind them. And I think Danny was like, yeah, Danny was like, oh, yeah, like I watched the Wu-Tang shit. And Danny, Jared goes, yeah, no, I'm not talking about Wu-Tang. I'm talking about Poon-Tang. <laughs> and we started dying <laughs> laughing. Was so great. It yeah. was so fucking funny. because it's, it's so true. Because it's, it's like, yeah, we didn't give a shit. Like, we were just watching shit. Yeah. We were weirdos. I took, a, when I was younger, I took fucking um, our brother-in-law's, like, condom out of his draw and fucking put it on and walked <laughs> around with it. <laughs> like, because I was like, I put a condom on. I'm a grown man. Like, I and, and one, he knew, and he goes, you guys are fucking, stop using my condoms. I was like, uh, and, and I didn't admit to it because I was fucking scared shitless, obviously. I think I got blamed for that. You probably did for the, yeah, for the condom theft. Yeah. I remember. Because uh, <laughs> I was like, ooh, look at me. I'm a man. I got a condom on. I, rem- I remember, <laughs> I remember one time. <laughs> so fucking weird. I remember one time I was watching a porno at kiana's house oh, i did it so many times yeah yeah so there was it, it was just it was left over in the vcr yeah so i hit play on it and i turned the tv off uh while like i heard like kiana like scurrying like coming into the room they had like this office like bed area right so i was like oh i'm just gonna like pretend i'm on like on the computer and kiana for some reason came in and turned the tv on for some reason and you know how she you probably knew that you know how you could play like a, a, a D uh, you could play a VCR. If you turn the TV on, it's still going to play. Yes. Yes. So she turned it on. It was a porno. And I was just like, ew, what's that? She was like, oh, it's like oh, whatever. She, wait, she didn't get mad at you. No, she thought it was just an accident because it was left over in there. Right. So I was like, oh, yeah, no, like I haven't turned TV on once. <laughs> I love that you're like, ill, what's that? You yeah. have a huge fucking kid boner in your yeah. fucking pants. It's like tucked into my belly button. <laughs> yeah, I'm just yeah. like, ill, what are those tits? Yeah, yeah, you're like, ill. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, what the fuck are those gross things bouncing around? I remember one time I found. With this huge fucking bone. I remember one time I found uh, <sighs> downstairs. Oh, like it, There was like these boxes in the, in the closet. I've, I can't remember who they belonged to, but we all moved out already. Right, right, right. But there was like storage down there. So I was like, let me just like go through like the storage. And then I found like non lubricated condoms. Weird. And I was like, yo, first of all, disgusting. Yeah. Uh, like, what the? F- what are we in the fucking Sahara Desert? Bro, they have like dust on them. I opened it up and it was like opening up like a fucking sandy glove. It's so weird. It was so gross, dude. I Were they like, just old, or did it literally say non-lubricated condoms? It said Trojan used to make red packaging for non-lubricated condoms. Weird. So not pleasurable. I don't know why people use non-lubricated condoms. What is that? I know, like, some people are allergic to lubricant and stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah, maybe that is. Maybe that you can get, like, a reaction to Yeah, but to I need it. to look up. Why use non-lubricated condoms? condoms? And shit. Pair with a water base. Um, non-lubricated condoms can be a good choice for some people. First off, why do you say it like that? First yeah. off, first off, they're generally bitch. better for oral sex. Okay, no need to worry about the lubrication tasting bad or making that. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. And with, remember, we don't really we're, we 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 don't know because we're not sucking on fucking rubber dicks. <sighs> you know what I mean? Bite your tongue. Uh, but yeah, I just don't understand like why you would. Oh, have those a, are the red ones you were talking about. Yeah, I think. And then I remember because I remember watching a scene. In why the, are they downstairs? I remember watching a scene in The Sopranos. Uh, friend of the family, Jason Cerbone, uh, a good guy, love him. Uh, he's with Meadow, um, Jackie Junior. He played Jackie Junior on Sopranos. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh he's in the car with her, and he's and she takes out a condom and it's non-lubricated. And I was just like, what is this about? Yeah, what is what this What a mean? horrible condom choice. Yeah, what is this? Yeah, why? You know, that, I think that's a very strange condom choice for anyone. Like, unless, like, you obviously, like, have allergic reactions to lubricant and, like, whatever. Yeah. Also, Again, or also. The, or the taste. But why are you sucking a donk? I mean, I, uh, you got to be safe. You got to suck a donk safely. 
I guess. Yeah, no, you could still get, you could still spread shit. Yeah, you could still, you can, the person with the mouth shit can spread it to a dick. That's what I never understood about some pornos, though, like where they wear condoms and it's just like, oh, but then like mouth stuff is cool. Well, they probably talk about it beforehand. They're like, are we wrapping up or are we not wrapping up? Or like maybe they're not on birth control or something. Yeah, or something. Yeah, exactly. Or someone's, yeah, yeah. Getting pregnant on a porn set is probably awful. Yeah, that's probably a bad thing. I wonder if there's anyone who's like had that situation and they're just like, well, I don't believe in doing whatever, so I'm just going to keep my baby. I, I will tell like you, that. this probably happened a lot. It probably is, yeah. And I doubt they do anything to compensate or like help you. You know what I mean? You're like, I, I just hate that I got old enough to see like the dark sides of porn. Well, it was, because, so, it was so juvenile when we were kids. We were like, oh, like boobies. Well, I don't know if it's better now, but I know you know women once again should yeah. end, should end up the goddamn dick uh, on this on this one uh literally like getting paid nothing to be i mean i, I just gotta call how it is being treated like shit i mean that's uh, just, the porn industry has got some real nightmares in there and then you have a few people who were real, very successful but even then they had fucked up lives like afterwards too so I would, I would honestly like, and again, we know people, you know, you know, obviously someone like that's been involved and I don't know what the, like that's been in like porn and stuff like that. So, oh yeah. So it's, so it's like, um, I do wonder what it is now, what the situation for certain people or if they have, or if that's like management or whatever it is, you hearing, know, hearing the, the, it's almost like wrestling when you find out about like backstage, right? Right. Hearing the backstage about porn. Yeah is like it's groundbreaking earth shattering information yeah like you learn so much about like how these guys like prepare their cocks right and like how women prepare their buttholes yeah and the vaginas and mouths like they are like fitness athletes yeah the preparation that goes into things now i mean but i wonder like when was the first porno ever made like 1920 like whenever a camera was made I, I guarantee you the first thing ever shot with a camera was like sex, like footage in a desert and then sex with non lubricated consoles. Yeah. First porn ever. Let's see. Fucking a brief history of pornography. 1910. They <laughs> Why say is the name of that site called full crumb. Full crumb. Somebody created porn. Oh, they definitely did. Absolute genius. This is the 10 oldest porns in the world. Jeez. Number 10, Deep Throat, 1972. <laughs> Damn, just going fucking right off to the races with that name. Yep, just look at that. Great, great art, too. Yeah, the thing about pornos in like the 70s and 80s, their posters look like real movies. They do. They don't look anything different. And then we got, what we had was like, but what we got, what the DVD covers were like the juvenile mixed like album like era. Yeah, it was just it like was just boobs, poops, and it was like, like girl's dicks. face, and then just like and open just, vagina, yeah. and dick, holes. and just a guy's dick because no one cares about the guy's face. Yeah, and it's just a dude holding a fucking rocket. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, dude, and it's like a girl looking into the camera, like yeah, smiling, but with a also... big wiener right next to her. <laughs> um, Number Boys nine, in the sand. Boys in the sand. Wait, you just said the first one was in the Sahara Desert. Yeah, I told you. 1971. This is a gay film. Ooh, nice. Also, one of the first ones was gay. That's yeah. Right. That's this nice. is this is 1970. Mona the Virgin Nymph. <laughs> which is which is like a, a play on words because how can yeah. you be a nymph if you're a virgin? That's true. Yeah. So this is called Mona is a classic. The story of a young bride to be and her nefarious mother fifi watson as mona <laughs> is incredible mona is a landmark slicker more intelligent more erotic mona and her sisters in sin where the skin action word of mouth is at mona is a classic one of all time best x-rated movies and i've seen them all <laughs> probably is, thanks is that a critic like, is it like a porn critic yeah, yeah his name was silverman erotic erotic Gazette. Are there porn critics anymore? There need to be. Yeah, I'm sure. There'll never be another Mona. This dude sounds like a fucking freak. Absolute creep. This one is called Andy Warhol's Blue Movie. What? Andy Warhol did a porno? I guess so. Andy or Warhol, it was probably like more of an artistic porn. It was the first erotic film to be widely released in mainstream theaters. And that was 1969. During the Giggity. golden age of porn. Yeah. This one was 1960. And it was made by, by a woman named Doris Wishman and a guy named Lazarus. Dad was like 
Dad was like eight or seven years old. Seven years old, getting after Get, it. Getting it in with that Italian dong. Uh, hide out in the sun. Hide out in the sun, it's called. It happened in a nudist camp. Photographed in one of the largest and most beautiful nudist camps in Florida. Florida's still winning. It's all look like old shitty flyers that tell you to like go to the war. Oh, my God. 1915? 1915. This thing is called a free ride. So this guy was doing bang bus in 1915. In a fucking old, shitty fucking Loomis. Yeah, and his character was called uh, a wise guy. <laughs> what? And then there was another one, Gay Puri Picture Company. And oh, then, hell yes. And then Jazz Girls. Hell yeah, jazz girls. A free ride. A free ride is considered to be the oldest existing American hardcore porn in the world. Oh, uh, but we're going hardcore. Yeah. So softcore might have been first. Like few early hardcore porns, a free ride includes voyeuristic elements. The film features a man who offers two young women a ride. When they stop for a break, one of the women goes off with the man to have sex. What? This guy did like fucking bang bus in a fucking old Ford? Yeah, this guy did fucking Model T bus. <laughs> what the hell? Uh Am a bend. 1907. And it was in Germany. And nobody knows who started it. Of course it is. But it was a research of sex. Hard. Uh, El Satario. 1907 to 1912. The fuck is that? Uh, I don't know what that is. Argentina, though, was getting their porn on in the 19, early 1900s. Of course it was another fucking... Of course it was another country. Another fucking country besides America. Uh, and then out. number two, 1896. No way. It's called The Kiss, and it's just a reel of people kissing. And then back then, they're fully clothed, but this is probably considered fucking filth. Oh, and it's literally just like people sitting in a photo booth. Yeah, like, and then like. That's literally just people kissing. kissing in a photo booth. Yeah. Le Coucher de la Marie. Number one is Le Coucher de la Marie. Damn, that kind of got to be hard just reading that. It's called Bedtime for the Bridge. <laughs> What? B bedtime for the bride. The bride's groom's dilemma. It's widely considered the oldest existing porn in the world. Damn. This is one of the first ever erotic films. By today's standard, this porn is pretty tame. It features a newlywed couple and neither wedding. The husband looks on as his new bride performs a strip tease behind a folding screen. Oh, uh, right. So it was incredibly softcore. Yeah, so There's not even softcore. That's just like. But in 1896, that's fucking. Oh, you're, dude, you're like, how dare you film this behind, yeah. do, behind fucking private mat doors. Fucking whore. The yeah, original basically. short film was about seven minutes long, but only the two-minute undressing scene has survived. Yeah, because we're freaks in the sheets. Damn, dude. Yeah, dude, that's super fucking porny. I want to see that movie, the like X or whatever. It's like a scary movie about porn. It's like Kid. Oh, Cudi. it's like a it's like a horror movie. Oh yeah, Kid Cudi's in it, and it's made it's made by that company that like every movie they make like gives you anxiety and makes you like want to kill yourself. What, what's that movie company? Uh, um, A two M. A A two four. A two four. Yeah, A two four. A two four makes you want to kill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <A2> is, <laughs> I got bitches. Uh, yes, A24. Um, uh, they did... Um, they, did they, they just did like a porno like slasher the, movie. The guy that did Lighthouse is a part of them too, right? Yes. And, and, and they did... And, um, the, and The Witch. It's that movie. At, at, uh, Uncut Jams. Oh, they did Uncut they Jams did Uncut too. Uncut Jams. Yeah, their movies do give anxiety. It's true. Yeah, they just make you fucking hate your life. and all. Some, the, not all of them are sad. good either. I mean, I've seen some that were like, uh, whatever, blase, blase. But, but yeah, some of them do give off like crazy anxiety feels. Every fucking one of those movies makes you fucking hate yourself. Yeah, is there ever like a positive one? No. I don't think I've ever seen a positive A24 movie. Right. What do you think the goal is there? To fucking make you hate yourself or like, or just be scared about the world. Dude, in Uncut Gems, when like he gets his fucking, first of all, that entire movie is just anxiety. Ah, oh, the whole buildup, dude. Yeah. I can't. And then the end, he just gets his fucking face blown in. And then it's just like, but you, why are they did doing you this? realize at the end? I know this is going to sound really morbid, but at the end, when that happens, it's, it finally, it's all over. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, you get the down. you get the feeling of like okay, it's like which is I know it sounds fucked up. Like I'm not gonna you know, I'm not gonna do anything to myself, guys. But it just <laughs> but you notice it just finally it it stops. Yeah, like it the whole I mean well he thinks he's good obviously towards the end but then it doesn't then that one last bang the movie is fucking awesome. The movie's great. It's a really good just the way that it's made like that like the way a lot that of people you, thought the way it that sucked. you said that. Really? Yeah, a lot of people thought it sucked. I, I liked it a lot. What made it suck? The ending? It's probably because I'm a fucking gambler myself. Like, I bet a lot. All right. So, like, I know what he was chasing. 
I know the I know the chase. Speaking of gamblers, fucking bad vegan on on Netflix. Yeah, let's get if, into bad vegan. For we won't sure. give. We're not going to give away too much this time. But if you yeah, guys, we, say, we save it towards the end. Like we'll revisit bad vegan. I, I, I'm sure it's basically time. Tinder Tinder swindler, but like on acid. It's fucking weird. I will say though, first of all. How dare she? She thinks she's fucking smart. No, 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 no. She no. was she in sucks. on that fucking she, shit. She no, fucking sucks. No, she is a dumbass. She's I don't a give fucking a, dumbass. I don't care. There are there and there are people that worked for her. So basically, this show is about this woman who owned one of the most famous popping vegan spots in New York City. Like Alec Baldwin would go there. All celebrities would go there. She actually became friends with Alec Baldwin, and like she met this could have fucked him. She met this yeah. She met this chef that she was she started the place with, and then. He got kicked out of it somehow, and she wound up staying. And, like, she's just a really either the most naive dumbass I've ever met in my life for love. Maybe she really just did want love. But then it just turns into, like, the videos are are wild, though. Like, this guy basically cons her into just ruining her life, taking her money and all this stuff. But he does it in a weird way where he somehow convinces her that her dog is going to live forever. Yeah, it's weird. Like you guys need to just watch it, and I won't. He calls her like weird shit, and like 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 human. Yeah, like human, or like she wears a meat suit. Yeah, no, he says that he wears a meat suit because he goes the he goes the only reason that I'm fat and I'm not fat. I call it my meat suit is to like throw people off or something like. Yeah, he thought that he was a person inside of his fucking body. He said that wearing a meat. He said he worked for the navy and he would go these places, but there was another higher power that was like. Like his brother was watching over him, and that she was gonna get promised like f- to live forever. And she's so she's like a reasonable person. So I don't know why the fuck you thought that. I don't know. Weird. And then and listen. Th- and this guy, by the way, was just gambling her money at casinos. Like, yeah, he would. Out. He would like tell her about like fucking Zuthion and shit, like weird shit. Yeah, and like yeah. the powers of that be, like her, like his brother and like other people that would like kill them or something. Yes, this guy sitting at Foxwoods, fucking gambling all the money away. Yeah, yeah, just completely mind uh, brainwashing her with like, I'd say a a a, a cult approach. Right, but I think like. She's a piece of shit. Like, a piece of shit could be manipulated. Yeah, no, she still did the wrong thing. No one, bro, if you needed, I'm sorry, if you needed, like, fucking, like, help, maybe after a few first times, I get it, but after, like, the 10th time and you it was making my business go under, I'd be like, Danny, I love you, but you need to go fuck yourself. Yo, dude. Or go somewhere else and do it. So they, they, She literally just goes away from her business and lets her, her workers suffer and not get payment. She doesn't pay them for a month. Yeah. And they close down. Right. And then they open up again and then she does it again. Right. And then she, it's so bad that her and this fucking meat suit, Pasusian guy, <laughs> yeah, Pasusian. fucking go on the run together. Yes. And, and instead of my enemies, he says, my demon, the he, demons are watching. The us. demons are watching us. But then this guy was, it turns out he was married before. Yeah. And like, you, and like stole her money too. Yeah, yeah. Like this guy's a real fucking piece of and shit. Now I feel, all right, for the girls in, in, in uh, Tinder swindler, I know people were calling them dumb and shit, but like, I honestly really do feel bad for them. Cause the one girl was actually just a friend and yeah. she got the idea. That's like, she's like, okay, this guy's never d- tried anything weird with me. I trust him. And they were friends for a long time. And the other girl, like, is just a sap who really wants to be in love with somebody. You know, she met this dude, and she, he used love, which is a very r- realistic thing. This other, you guys got to just, you got to yeah. watch it. It's the they, fucking they, weirdest thing I've ever seen. And like, it the makes moral, no sense. And the, like, the moral of the story is, is like, don't meet people from Words with Friends. She met him on Words with Friends, and I don't know why you would even meet anyway. I like, I didn't even know that you could chat on Words with Friends. Yeah, you can. Dude, you remember I used to go in on words with friends back in the day. Yeah, you were you were very big into it and, and you get very upset about it. And you would and literally there were if, people if, like if I took too long there, to answer, you'd be like, yo, bro, like I'm gonna cancel the game. There like, were people there were like people that literally like were flirtatious on it though. It was kind of weird. Yeah, but that's so why why does it like why is this fucking guy like why do we have to turn everything into like a potential fuck session? I, that's what I just mean. play a goddamn word yeah, and put your word fucking cock words, away. Yeah, and put it down yeah, and put the fucking phone down. Weird. Why is everybody so fucking horny doing everything? Facetious. Good one. Where are you from? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like, <laughs> shut the fuck up, dude. Oh, uh, Pantheon. That's awesome. Mm. Uh, have you? What kind of you, what kind of pants do you have, you have on? on? Wow, pseudo. I haven't seen that one in a while. 
What size is your cock? Yeah, right? You're just like, wow, getting right to it? Great wordplay. How big is your fucking nipple? Or literally the one person would just big do certain letters to spell out a sentence yeah. and it would just be like, cock. How? Yeah. yeah. How is cock? Yeah, right? <laughs> you're like, like, what? Okay, I'm seeing what he's doing. But that's why it's like, yo, like, there's, so I have a chess app. Yes. So I, I usually play chess. Like, oh, that's cool. I play chess like at night now before bed. I didn't know that you played. That's pretty cool. I started it like six or seven months ago. Right. Um, think you're a wise guy now? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not good at it. I'm learning, but like it's hard. But like I'll be playing chess with people, and like they'll chat to me. And the other day, I was like, "Please don't chat to me." Damn, really? Yeah, because I I really think that shit is fucking weird, bro. They're gonna be like, "Whoa, this guy thinks he's like a top tier player." Just no, like, I just think that it's so weird how people like we create these weird funnels of communication where people can reach us personally, right? And it's like, "Yo, dude, it's like I'm just trying to play chess." Like, if he was talking to me like about like, like, "Oh, you should have moved like this, like F7," I'd just be like, "All right," like he's teaching. Right, me. right, 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 right. A but normal he, game counter, like if you met them at the park and you were just playing with a stranger, right? But he was like, "No one's going to do that in person." He's like, "What's up? How long have you been playing?" And I was like, "Yo," I was like, "Yo, chill." <laughs> like I'm not, I'm not going to make a chess friend right now. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know who you're fucking talking to, dude. Yeah. Like this dude could meet me one day and fucking eat me, dude. He could be the master of Sudan. That's true. He could be and fucking make you, and make you think that fucking Silvio and fucking Tony are gonna live forever. And the, and uh, yeah, and like that I'm fat and I'm only just wearing a meat suit. Yeah, that you're I'm from they, Yeah, and that you're not even like that fat isn't even real. It's actually just a meat suit, and that's it. I love how he would talk to her like piece of shit, dude. Treat but, her like shit, but though. then just be like, "Why are you so upset, baby?" Yeah, no, that you're gaslighting. I think real bad. So real bad gaslighting. I'm glad we finally learned. But she. Baby. Did it? It never escaped my mind. I did not feel bad for her ever during that. No, I. I'm gonna. I'm not a, gonna lie to you. I didn't feel. Piece, I, she is a piece of shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think that she. I definitely felt something. I got a weird aura from her as well. That it wasn't just like I think that she fell for his shit. Yes, and she feels embarrassed. But I think also. I mean, she made a book out of it. Like right after. And also, so, also the other thing too there, is, and again, there are workers that literally agree that she was like still sketch, sketchy. One hundred percent. She was stealing money, and yeah. she knew about it. Yeah, and, her, and she wasn't paying her employees. Yeah, and she kept giving this dude money because she's a fucking weirdo too. Yeah, and and your excuse is the fucking the tables of Pantheon are going to give my dog forever life. Yeah. Also, really bad look for vegans. By oh, the way. really? I, th I thought too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. really bad look for vegans that you guys all fucking believe in Pazuzu <laughs> and like you guys like just want to take money and meet on words with friends and not care about paying your employees. By the way, uh, to charge them forty nine dollars for fucking uh, bamboo shoots salad. By the like, way, fuck if, that. If you don't change your name on chess to Queen's Danbit, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. Queen's Danbit. That's that's awesome. <laughs> Maybe Cream's Danbit. Yeah, cream. I'm fat. <laughs> no, no, you have to do that. Cream's damn bit. But I agree. I agree, though. I, I Don't like, talk to me, dude. Here's the thing, though. Vegans, vegans do have this rep, though, where if they do fuck up once, everyone is going to shit on them, though. We have, and I'm not even a vegan, and I can I can honestly say that. Like, We have a close friend who's vegan. Yes. So, yes. like, your best friend's sister yes. is vegan. Yeah. Uh, vegans can be super, like, militant. Uh, militant. Because their their uh, their entire regimen is pretty is pretty militant. Right, it's like I can't. I gotta watch because there's so many animal products and so much shit. Right, right? and it's some shit. are really cool though too. I know people that are just like suck that meat down. Do you? Oh no, you know? she, she's she's cool, but she'll tear your head off too though. Yeah, she'll she'll let you do what you want, but she'll let you know what you're doing, what you're eating. And yeah. Stuff. yeah, like yeah. if I want to like suck a candlelight wing through my asshole. Yeah, you're gonna do like, it. Like I'm gonna do it, and 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 that's just what I like. <laughs> yeah, and just pop it out so clean, right? So clean, but like I just there is a there is a perception that vegans are very like. Yeah, no, there's there's a there is that. And they talk about it in the documentary. That, that is, the, but that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Like, if a vegan, if one vegan fucks up, they're all going down. Oh, to dude. everybody else. Yeah, Be dude. because of the shit that people get 
from some vegans. And then they shit you know on what I mean? Then they shit on her like they caught her like ordering Domino's pizza. Well, she apparently wasn't eating it. I doubt it. But she was like That's the thing too. I was like, "All right, but they also but what I thought was really true too is the media focuses on certain things to shit on people like, oh yeah they wanted like the, they wanted to ruin they her life. wanted her to look like i mean the title of the fucking netflix thing is bad vegan yeah. and which she was i don't even know if yeah but i don't even know if that that title alone it's like it's focusing on the fact that she is a vegan when the vegan part has literally nothing to do with the whole fucking thing. She just owned a restaurant. You know yeah, that I mean? like Alec Baldwin went to. Yeah, that Alec Baldwin went to. And she was talking about him getting dogs. And then at one point she goes, I feel like I could have just like, should have just like banged him. Yeah. She kind of admits that. She's like, I feel like I should have been. And she's like a good looking woman. You know what I mean? Like, you yeah. know, she, I don't, she was with this weird fucking dude who she just like, she fell in love with on Words with Friends. He, and he, he looked was, like a fat Persian dude. Yeah, he was a weird looking guy and his eyes are weird. And then like you just find out his history is even worse. Like him and his dad robbed people and shit. And then his, him and his dad threatened to kill each other when they were drunk one night or something. And then they were like, I'm just kidding. I love you. It's an awesome family dynamic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys, check it out there because there's a lot more. Like yeah. I know we say we're not going to spoil them. We go into it, but you guys should still check it out. There's a there's a really good amount of there's a, I mean, there's a few good amount of episodes in there and uh it's just you got to hear this guy talk. You know what I watched with Selena too. So like we watched that, we banged that out. Nice. And then the next thing that we watched, she never, she I, I couldn't believe she never saw it was uh, the Jinx. What the hell is that? With Bob Durst, the HBO documentary. I've never seen that. Oh, then I can't spoil it for you then. Who's Bob Durst? Uh, do you have HBO Max? No, I don't. I'll give you my password, and then you could watch the documentary. By the way, before we dip out, you hear about Netflix doing this no more sharing password thing? They're going to charge you. If you share your password, they're going to charge you extra on your monthly bill. Oh, I'll fucking cancel it. What are they doing? I'll fucking cancel it. Dude, Didn't you they just you, go up they, in price, too? Those fucking pieces of shit? Yes, and here's another thing. You're not killing it like that, guys. You you fell off Let me kind of a while ago. Like you had the documentaries and stuff. You're falling off though. You're not as good as you used to be back in the day. The appeal of oh my god, I can get whatever I want sent to my house, bro. Plex TV, uh, zero, one two three movies. It, it's a it's a wrap for you guys anyway. Yeah, I'll like, fucking pi I'll fucking pirates booty pay. It's pay not whatever. And it's not even that. There's other places that are literally like websites that are going to be. This is it's it, it's as long as the internet exists. So will piracy, and what, so will yeah. easier ways to watch your movies, and also Netflix. You're just you're. Uh, there are shows that do pop off. I'm not gonna lie. There are shows that pop off. Very but rare. Though. There, are, there's gonna be con when you do this, you're putting yourself in a position where competition is gonna eat you alive eventually. It, and they're take, very rich, so it doesn't matter. But if you take Stranger Things off Netflix, yes, they lose so much money. It's, it's and Adam Sandler. Yeah, and uh, d here's my thing. They have occasional bangers hbo max though is isn't euphoria on fucking hbo yeah all right so then you have that so now these guys can last forever hbo is hbo has wax. hbo has south park every episode right uh they have all batman shit right they have all dc shit right disney plus has all marvel shit right right and then hulu has like always sunny they have like Family Guy. They have like shows on that there. are already out there. That are too. already out, and, and Netflix does that too. But then they get rid of them. Like they got, like they got rid of the Office. Yeah, they just did. They're just, and nah, you guys, I, and, v, I VPN out of those fucking. But bitches. but who knows? While they're listen. Also, I've realized that all streaming services are getting scattered around. Right. Yes. So that's what's going to happen too as well. But we all predicted that it's going to be Disney Plus. It'll be this. It'll be that. They're all going to fight for the streaming world. But Netflix is the originator here right yes they could be doing uh, like I, the, I don't know if this is maybe it's because it's the only way that they can stay alive and they realize that i don't know what, what what's their market netflix like? knows you're sharing accounts yeah dude because it's my fucking family yeah dude i fucking piece of shit i'm paying for it what happened to the sharing account stuff is it if it's a different ip what if your fucking grandmother moves to fucking florida yeah, it's my fucking grandma you piece dude. of shit Yo, fuck, fuck you, Netflix. Fuck you and your ass. With permission. Look at this shit. Plans and pricing. Listen, listen, listen to what you get with a basic $9.99 fucking thing from Netflix. What is it? 
You get number of screens you can watch it on at one time, one. Go fuck your mom. Number of phones or tablets you can have downloads on, one. Fuck your dad. That's $10 a month. $15 a month? $15.49. $15.49, you can have it on two screens. Whoa. That's so dope. Whoa. You pay $6 for an extra screen. Suck my dick. And also, on basic, $9.99, you can't even watch the shit in HD. Oh my god! It's not even in HD. Yeah, dude, this shit is S. Can't what's fuck. the? Can't you watch? Can't you watch like seven eighty or whatever the fuck it is? Seven sixty in like HD? Pretty much seven twenty p. Seven twenty. Seven twenty. Yeah. I haven't. I, I don't even know the number because I haven't watched anything in seven twenty in like a million years. Yeah. Are you kidding me? And then premium, which I have, is twenty dollars a month. Four screens. Okay. Numbers of phones or tablets. Four unlimited movies. Unlimited uh, TV, you know, phone, and tablet. paying for this already, though? People that are hooked and already into the shows. I'll tell you who's not hooked. Yeah, but I... I me. I, I'll bounce. You'll bounce. Also, it's easier for me because I am living off of someone's shared password. So yeah, I, yeah. I, I am in a particular situation. But even if I wasn't, I'm good. I'll find the show. Don't worry, I will. And you want to know what shows come out the clearest? Digital ones. Pirate ones? Digital ones. Yeah, it's true. You know what Yo, ones don't? Netflix, dog. Fucking Spider-Man No Way Home. That shit was trash booty for a while. Now a good copy's out. Yeah. Um, I think Batman comes to HBO Max. And not that I pirate, because I would never do that, but well, I have friends that not. do. I, I use ExpressVPN. So. <laughs> yeah, as a Netflix member. If Netflix takes fucking profile sharing, I'll fucking leave. I'll fucking bounce. I'll fucking bounce. I don't. I don't. Who the fuck do you people think you are? Yeah, you digital dude. pussies. There's nothing on Netflix that I watch every day. Nothing. Seinfeld, maybe. Raising fucking rent. What the fuck, the fuck yeah. do you think you are? Keep fucking it. The- Shit's Creek. Suck my dick. You know what we're paying for? You know what we're paying for, right? Stranger you, Things. You, no, you know what? Yeah, well, <laughs> that yeah, dick we're, is, we're, we're paying for Stranger. We're paying things. extra money because you guys wanted to get fucking Joe Pesci and De Niro and Pacino together. Yeah. That's what the fuck we're paying for. Yeah. We're paying for the Irishman. Yeah, we're paying for the fucking four hour long CGI Irishman that I fell asleep twice. I had to watch like a fucking true detective episode. Like, fuck your business. You're going to be rich regardless. Yeah. Because some people share, because people are sharing their stuff with people. You're, that's, you know, that's dictatorship. That's yeah. fucking, that's, that's uh, modern day capitalism. Yeah, but you. I'm going to beat them because since we talk about that <coughs> on the show, I'm going to write it off as a work expense. Because we review movies Fuck on here. Fuck yeah. <laughs> That's a, how many people do you bitch. think just reach so hard for fu- for fucking business, business expenses? You're fucking looking at them, dude. <laughs> dude, if I if I if if, if, yeah, I, I, yeah. if I like think about making a f- fucking Instagram reel on a certain street, I'll write right. it off. As Bro, a you, I mean, you got some good ones around us right now, to be honest. Oh, cameras, lights, you got some laptops, good ones around us right now. To be honest. Yeah, they, these are all write offs, but like, that's why. Like sometimes I'll always have a an idea. I'll ask my accountant, like, "Hey, can I write off like Netflix and Hulu and PSN and shit?" Right. right. You can. I can use my rent as payoff as business expense. Can I? Because we're doing it in my place. You would have to ask an accountant. It sounds like maybe you could, but I don't think so. It depends on the square footage of the room that you're in. Jeez, see, you're already fucking ahead of mind. But I, it, I've been paying my own for the last fucking three years now, four years. <laughs> Tell me about it. And then also you, like... Uh, 20 years. 20 years. You have to really think... <laughs> yeah. yeah. I saw that smirk. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I popped a little bit. <clears throat> but anything that you do on Twitch, you could write off. Almost literally everything. Yeah. I hope you do. I literally do. I trust me. I'm trying to find. So like if you get a video. Oh, see all those games in there that are in my fucking cupboard. They're like $4,000. That's all going to be write-offs. Yeah. So like you'll get some of that back. I'm going to get all that back. Yeah. Or not all that. Some of that. You're right. Good amount. Good amount. But guys like Bezos and stuff. What's the thing that they do where they can they don't pay shit at all? They put money into like charities and stuff. Yeah. They do like, uh, like uh, non-profits assets. and assets. They put all their money in fucking their business and shit like, a lot of those guys are like cash like debt right they, but the, their money's just like everywhere yeah so it's like they just live off credit and like credit cards we couldn't even imagine 
Yeah. I, it's just, it's fucked up to me that the system itself is a scam. It's made to fuck up the people that don't <sighs> have as much. It's the worst. And then we're just out here fucking fending for fucking scraps. I know. <laughs> It's so mad right now. <laughs> I know the way you said it. So angry. The way you this. said it was so off podcast town. Because <laughs> you're just like, but I get it. You know, yeah, taxes are just. I also realize that it's three o'clock in the morning. I have to edit this entire episode and get yeah, it out on time. I know. So, uh, well, on that note. Yeah, on that note. We do love you guys and appreciate you. Thank you, everyone, for the, all to, the patrons. I just had to take a shit. I just had to take a shit. You got to uh, keep that in, though. That was so funny. Yeah, you go, I got to take a shit. I got to take a shit. <laughs> Uh, Allison Meta. Thank, thank first of all for that. Thank you to all the patrons and uh We bow to you. We love you. Uh we're gonna film an ex- episode this week yes. and then we'll put thank it out. Thank you for my gift, by the way, bro. I love it very much. You're welcome. And I'm happy to be back. What what day like let's put out Patreon ex- extra episodes like on a Friday or yeah, Saturday. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Saturday. Yeah, or let's something. do weekend stuff. I'm down. I Allison agree. Meta. David Simpson, Ivan C. Feliciano, Josh Acasi 69 Diaz, Marvel Malang, Big Mo. Nicole Derelou, Nicholas Nielsen, Ryan Blake, The Real Pachu, Puerto Rico Pikachu, Tim Turbo Jeffs, Alessandra, Ashley Sparacino, Bessie, Carmen Julia Fisher, Louis Dreyfus, Chantrell, Maya Jackson, the third, Colin, the step chungus, Corbin, damn, that's duh, Darko Stasevic, Stasevich, Franco Cephalou, I love you, Pedro, it's me, Nikki, Jeremy Overton, John Kaminskis, Joseph Arsenal, Kilo Kedix, Linda! Linda from Accounting, Matthew D. Bower, Mike Catastrophe, Neely Thomas, uh, PATN, Paolo Xavier, Peter Wildcat, Phyllis Wayne, Ricardo Reyes, Still Fat Though, Tay Roto, Trevor Joyner, Tristan Nelson, Vanessa Pineda, and Will Whiting. Michael, where can they find you on the internet, bud? Twitch.tv forward slash Michael underscore Priori. Thank you for people that have been stopping by, by the way, and showing love to the podcast and letting everybody else know in the community over there. Appreciate you guys. And Danny, where can they find you, baby? At Danny Priori on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch uh, is Danny Priori 69 And then on TikTok, Danny Priori as well. So we love you guys. Thank you so much for Thank the support. Thank you for the support, guys. Appreciate it for real. Keep it up if you guys can. And sub to the fucking channel if you guys aren't yet. We love you. Thank you for all the support, though. Take care of yourselves, guys, and see you for the next one. And Deuces. Hit, hit, the, hit the like button, too. Or yeah, and hit so. that like button, too, if you guys can, if you want yeah. to. And leave, s- and leave a comment. Tell us your favorite uh, your favorite breed of dog or cat. Get off your fucking ass and hit the like yeah, button. Yeah, get off your fucking ass and stop being lazy, girls. Fucking bitch. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you. Ben Kingsley's Indian. Yeah, it's crazy.